creature. No! <laughs> Okay, so that's us up to session number 43. 43? Yeah. Good grief. Oh, it, it does add up after time. Yeah. At least it's not like when I was saying up to session number 243. Yeah, I've only been here for a quarter of that total number anyways. Are you sure? I think you're... Are you no, oh, hang on. No, I'm pretty you sure. You've got in probably about 20 maybe. Six months. Six months or 12 months? Because I came in... I probably... I'm, Jeremy was original, then he left, and I've come in. And then Jeremy came back. Sorry, Jeremy's not people because he's online. Sorry. That guy. <laughs> that guy. I think he might be on mute as well. Fantastic. That's, it, man, I'm talking That's about how it. we like it. That's right. I don't okay, so Dave, you joined session number 12. Did I really? Yes. I could have sworn the party was much more advanced than that. And that was uh, 15th of May um, last year. May? Yeah. Been here forever. Oh, that's right, because I was trying to get in way longer than that. Please let me play in your game. And the I session before friends. that was the only session featuring Sonny. Oh yeah, Sonny. You, uh, you never met that one. Oh, no, no, you never met you're Sonny, so true. Uh, apparently, the um, flatulent goat really got her. No, I think it's all Jeremy's fault. No, okay. it wasn't me. With Jeremy and I. Oh, that's with. right. Yeah, because she always threatened to show up. No, she's thrown off one game. Jeremy and I role played too much, and Link's gonna lose. Yeah, she, she, she always me. threatened to show, oh, show that up one. all the time. But never actually did. No, no, because it's. I remember it's like we wrote one session. That's right. She met <laughs> met the goat. Was very upset with the goat. Had talking to the goat, talking off the goat off. I think she was the off. I think she had a, had the, the goat. The goat was very up. Okay, yeah. gonna restart. So, so I, know, I can't remember the. Here. Well, then the session's now. You guys do Rupert. I'll play a bit. So yeah, we do. <laughs> It was Bradshaw vs. Dimitri game, yeah, one of those games. So. You should stop getting sidetracked. Sorry. David, stop it. Is that better on your guy's side? That's much better, yeah. Oh, okay, all oh, good. So, nobody heard us shit counting Jeremy? I mean, Jeremy didn't hear us? Oh, that's good. Give Jeremy shit. I kept hearing you, but it was all a bit intermittent. Oh, damn, that's that's a shame. That's a shame, huh? Big shame. Indeed. Yeah. Of course we wouldn't upset Okay, so. With today's um, group, we have in person um, David. We do. Um, hello, I'm David. I play Plamen, who Martin, is. Have you still got the music going? I've just turned it down. Okay, went... cool. Who is awfully fond of horses, is a barbarian, and a human, and a Thingarian. And doesn't like leaving the horses behind, but always leaves them behind. Always loves talking to new NPCs, too. Yeah. And wants as many talking things as possible. Writing things. Look, if we want to talk to horse gods, um, if we could have a talking horse. No. Yes. No. No, <laughs> no, Mr. Ed. And I. You are right. Oh, God damn it. Well, the horse is already intelligent. Oh, no. You've you started this now. By the time you get back, it might be talking. Oh, shit. This is where I just quiet with these sort of comments now. It's only really... intelligence four. So I've talked to Steph Art about this, but I won't talk to Martin about these kind of comments because I know that. I do to... have speak with animals. I don't need any more. You might not need speak with animals I by the time you get back. I you left it in the city of magic. I want to need speak with animals. <laughs> don't do it. Regen's more of an asshole than I am. I know. I just remembered that backup character wanted to make earlier. I completely forgot because I had to leave with every episode. It was. Um, uh, I wanted to make a character specifically to play with uh, Backdoor. <laughs> I think it'd be hilarious. Anyway. So yeah, they found out about a legendary item that they're trying to sell off because um, uh, it completely demoralizes people. Why not keep it and give it to your enemies? Uh, most of the people who use the sword um, or, or have it with them kill themselves with it. Put it in the mail. Dimitri. Just send it to Dimitri, I'm sure they'll find it. Yes, except it's sort of auto-attuned to the person who takes it and then doesn't let them get rid of it. You know that item could single-handedly destroy the Ethangarian Postal Service? Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so good actually. Next one at the table is easy for Mark. <laughs> Just in time for you to eat um, one of your fair tales. I play Kiki, the innocent, pure um, wood elf cleric who... He's less innocent. Who... Is worried about Nasty Stump's recent actions with dinosaurs and legs, and 
hasn't really got the craving for meat since. So we'll see how things go on for the session. So. Really need to get um, Kiki involved in one of the um, um, plant-based storylines where the plants talk back to you. She'll be fine with that. She's happy with plants. They won't even talk to you while you eat them. Just think Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and the um, talking cow. Gosh, that would be so unsettling. <laughs> okay. So, Stefan. Hello. I am playing Rhea, who is a, uh, a Ladrin, who is currently in summer, um, aspect to my knowledge. And um, even though Stefan the player feels like the winter aspect right now, um, yeah, I'm a sorcerer, despite being told I'm a wizard multiple times. Um, things have been interesting because most of my magic is not working. What season are you in? You're in um, summer. The happy the world. What season? Oh, yeah. I'm in season. I'm in summer. Because <laughs> You're in season. The world around me is not changing, and it's freaking me the fuck out. Mm. Well, imagine a perpetual summer. Pretty mm. much. So I'm trying to feel as comfortable as possible by changing to the season it's currently not changing to. Yes. A winter person stuck in summer would feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay, so next person online we have is Emrys. Hi, my name's Emrys. I'm playing Nasty Stump, the um, pretend human slash fighter slash surgeon slash prophet maybe um i've currently made a new deal with the god simarak did i say that right however you said is correct right so this one time i was not with you um and yeah i am finding a lot of good in life because um a god has given me direction and then we have um jeremy Yes, good evening all, playing uh, Dimitri Dimitrios, the uh, knowledgeable and wise sage of the Shalbar and people <coughs> always willing right. to help and provide advice. That cough was accidental, <laughs> trust me. Was it on purpose cough? I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure it was not whatsoever. That was from, that was from Bradshaw, by the way. So. Okay, so... He was knowledgeable and wise and willing to help. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you took skills in passive-aggressive sarcasm. <laughs> I don't think he needed to. I think he was just talented that way. <laughs> hey, it's all knowledge. Guys, would you mind if I interrupt you for a second? Mm -hmm. um, the guy who was wearing the chainmail suit, he says that he has a blue shirt and a second pair of pants on below the chainmail, and he imagines that chain underwear would chafe and pull hair. He would not recommend trying it out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. At least she has a sense of humour. Fantastic. We're, we have learnt a lot tonight. <laughs> Sorry to derail. I Sorry, just I feel like that would be important. Oh, that was very important. So that's the team tonight. Okay, Great so team. that is the team for tonight. You also are currently on a quest to um, find the Goblin Princes. I would say rescue, but that seems to be getting derailed rather quickly. <laughs> As some characters are less inclined to rescue than just um, remove. All of this sounds boring. Can we go ride some horses? Flying ones? Hmm. <laughs> Obviously, we've got to catch up for what happened last session, so. You are currently in the um, lands of the Drug, uh, not the Drugan, the Azcan. Ooh. We're in there. That is um, some of their dress code. Upside down. Climbing approves. I think Bradshaw would have been them past on it. Possibly. They're more amusing. Uh, that is more likely their dress codes. Plyman continues to approve. Hmm. That's pretty much a Thingarian dress. So if you guys have furs, these guys don't. Hmm. So we're better. Hmm. Okay. They don't actually have a winter where you get stuck with a winter all the time and it sucks. So, what are we up to? So last time we had it, you were 
talking to the locals, finding out that you really need to try to fit in, or they or they may try to kill you, and that uh, you have quite a while, you have a few day travel on the road to actually get to the local city where you're heading, which uh, has been putting up the um, um, ghostly uh, serpent um, with wings to the sun every um, 24 hours. Plant which according to our uh, dream sendings from Asterius, uh, oh, need to be stopped because they're going to destroy the sun or something, aren't they? They are corrupting the sun so it doesn't actually provide um, nutrition to the world. Which will destroy the outer world as well as the inner this world. This is the god I spoke to, is that correct? Mm hmm. Okay, yep, yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So he is the moon god. Yes. I did, over time, eventually got to trust him after my, my dream. So I do remember that. So I, if I remember rightly, I have my spells back, is that right? Mm hmm. Yes, right, yeah. As long as you use your Are magic in his name. Oh. Yeah? Oh, yeah, we got replaced. Uh, our gods got replaced by the guy who wants the things done. Oh. Mm. Uh. I'm going to. I don't want to know the, what happens when I get back upstairs, but I'll do. Yeah. Well, he did say that if you don't help him, they won't be going back upstairs. That's true. The scared Kiki, so Kiki, yep, no problem. So this is your one chance to save your god. And apparently you guys are the chosen ones to save the gods. Don't you feel so great about that? Uh, I feel great, but I'm pretty sure the gods don't. They don't get a choice. <laughs> They're not feeling great about it. Neither did Asterius. He had to pick the best he could find. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, fortunately for him, he's got Dimitri. So instead of Gillette the best a man can get, it's Gillette the really only choice that a man can have. <laughs> Very close. I think he might have been second or third uh, attempt hey, to contact people. I'm a good cleric. I can help people. I'm a fantastic barbarian. Mm. I don't know about helping people though. Yes, I, I love everyone. So last we had it, someone had obtained some loincloths from some slaves. Did we? Mm -hmm. Especially jobs. Yep. And you're going to attempt to uh, mimic the local dress. What? Huh? Okay. Uh, Dimitri was just using magic. Plum and scrapes off the fur off from his leathers. Kiki says, oh, give me a second, I'm going to hide a bush in the change. Plum and waits. And Kiki comes back in. In the female equivalent. <laughs> there is no female equivalent. Oh, so the well, females... Oh no, there is a female equivalent. It's very equivalent. Hang on, okay. Before, because I wasn't here last session, what do the fe is any females there? I've not seen any female dress yet. Okay, I'm going to assume a female would have top, bottom. I try to be mo modesty a little bit. I don't want to go Barbarella kind of stuff. So, so, so. Well, most of them have the um, uh, fact that the loincloths don't really give you any um, chance to hide anything. Yeah, I don't have... They, they, they let me hide a heat. Okay. I'll try to do the best with all i got, okay? Mm -hmm. And if I get any wolf whistles, I'm going to hurt somebody. I know exactly what I'm thinking of right now. I know you are. No, you don't. Don't encourage it, Will. <laughs> what sort of wolf whistle are you thinking about? No, no, no. You ever seen the that really crappy cartoon movie, Heavy Metal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the title. That shit right up. Back that shit right up. Really crappy movie. Shut up. <laughs> it was terrible and you know it. And it, I, I don't say terrible in a bad way. It was I say terrible. And the sequel was amazing. In an amazing way. But the, the cover, the, uh, the, the usual poster used for it, is exactly what I'm thinking of. Yeah. I did that particular. What hair color I had? You were blonde. Yeah, blonde, blue eyed, innocent looking. Oh god, this is gonna be fun. In an area where um, blonde is very rare. So, ten minutes later, Kiki comes out. 
just covering everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm not running in this. Um, and everyone just I- is blinded by how white it is. Yes, I'm a I'm a wood elf, so I'm going to be pale. So, so now nothing. Demetrius, shush. Nothing. I um I actually need to reference the uh, the look that. And I, and I put and I'll. I'll point out another elf saying, eyes, eye to eye, that's all. Okay, I don't want to see anything else from you. Look at it. Stefan's character saying, no, 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 looking down. Raya seems to be ignoring you. Oh, okay. That was the one I was worried about. Okay. You wanted Raya to pay attention to you? No. Just, I'm just making sure that... I expect a certain thing of the barbarian, but... And... I don't know what to expect from Nasty Stump, so... But is there any trees around? Uh, not really. Most of it's been cut down in this region. Uh, so, what's around us? Uh, there is a long road, uh, fields of, um, uh, basic, um, uh, plantations. So, you probably say, um, uh, basic grains and, um stuff they could uh, weave to make um, uh, uh, sort of like bamboo style stuff because they are they also uh, it's also a tropical area right and we know the way to go don't we because um, there is a road to follow to walk. <laughs> yep. you've been told go that way and because that's been where you've been seeing all the stuff happening so Shall we just start walking fairly fast? To make you ready and waiting. I think we start walking. Okay. Okay, so. A couple of days travel, walking. This road hasn't got a lot of use at this stage, as far as you can tell. You find yourself uh, on the outskirts of what appears to be a um, large city. It's not the one you're looking for because that seems to be further on. I'm just trying to see if I actually have a description of the city for you. Should be actually useful if I had the descriptions of the cities. No, I recommend it. A book split into three parts is always an interesting book to try to figure out where everything is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, where are the cities? History, <laughs> calendar, geography, <laughs> cities, 22. Okay. So this seems to be, uh, it's probably one of the largest cities you guys have seen. It's got about, you think it it could easily cater for about 45,000 to 50,000 people. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's an ocean based um, city, so it's right on the edge of um, their trade areas. Can we see if it's being controlled by military? Like, are there gates in and out, that kind of thing? Uh, there are uh, military everywhere around the city, but they don't seem to be um, stopping foreigners. It seems to be a city that welcomes foreigners. Um, what is everyone wearing around? Like, is it what what my new clothes? Is it going to suit this kind of environment, or should I go back to what I had before? I Most of the people you see wandering around are dressed in um, uh, the loincloth. Uh, but you think they're the people who have no same what they do. And most of them have tattoos of ownership on them. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm feeling a bit nervous because I've got no tattoos on my body right now. Mm-hmm. That can be arranged. <laughs> hey, eyes up, thank you. <clears throat> and uh, I'm looking around there, you don't actually see anyone um, uh, who... Uh, it is dressed too unusually for you. You see 
people that uh, come from um, more uh, leather-based cultures uh, wandering amongst them with a couple that seem to be uh, very uh, popish, what you consider um, uh, a little over-the-top pirate girl from uh, any of those um, pirate mysteries you read as a child. <laughs> Ooh, I've never heard pirates before. I'm sorry, what? Uh, so... I've never met pirates before. Hmm. But we are pirates. Little Miss and I are pirates, aren't we? He's right. Yep. He just doesn't see you as a pirate, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, uh, fair enough. He, he's never seen you on a boat. I, I see as a strange individual who does things I less expect to happen. How's that put? Is that a nice way of putting it? That's a, that's a pirate though, right? But you haven't told me you've been a pirate yet, because I've, I've only met you guys outside the pirate, kind of. I bet you were just people in the town, kind of. Right. Thing, so. I'm pretty sure they've said previously they are pirates. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, many times. Oh, okay, I'll say like... With oh, gusto. Nasty! You must know this place well. Uh, I, I, say, I don't know it, but I feel like this is a comfortable place, and I... Cool. Uh, unless anyone has any problems, I feel like we just walk straight in. Okay, but, so. but also, I say, they might have called themselves pirates, but they're not, but they haven't acted like the pirates you read in those books. <laughs> okay, so to actually describe the place properly, I got a, a, a nice description here. It's a large port, it's central, it's ceremonial center virtually on the shore of the gusty bay of Baxton. It's neighborhood slum stretching uh, due south over rounded bluffs, striking like a spike into the heartland. As described in... Doo -doo -doo, uh, it suffers uh, a lot from um, piracy as it does from an inept government. And basically everyone here seems to be looking malnutrition. Malnu uh, like they're suffering from malnutrition, even the um, guards. Mm. Okay, so as you uh, walk closer to it, uh, you come across um, uh, what appears to be a beggar. He is an emanci emaciated, rugged, toothless, foul-smelling, bulged eye, uh, servile old man. His left nostril has rotted away with some unspecified disease. And he breathes with a disgusting rasp. Hush, hush. Is what it sort of describes it as. <coughs> Sorry, he needs one nostril. Yeah. Can, can I rush to his side and hold the side of his head? You, what? You can. Why? It is sticky. I talk to him. I'd like to whisper him to him quietly, calm him, and try and assess whether or not the um, book that I have, which has all the healing techniques, has something that maybe I could do to help him. That is good. While you're doing your medicine roll, you can also do a fortitude saving throw. That's fine. There is, there is no life without risk. Okay, so the medicine rolls a natural 20. Yep. And the fortitude roll is 19. Wow. <laughs> Simorak speaks to me, okay? Okay, so. <laughs> Thank you. Looking at it, it all seems to be um, going pretty well. You uh, don't think he actually has a transmutable disease. He may just be um, cursed and uh, and not well looked after, or at least not a disease you're going to catch. Can I whisper, Simorak? Can you help him? And uh, give me a religion roll. Um, that. Uh, give me a second, religion. Yeah, so that's uh, 15. Okay, so uh, your book uh, moves over to um, long-term care of the elderly. <laughs> cool. And it describes how you could spend the next month um, looking after the person, which might give him back a little more um, uh, years, whereas his current condition, he probably won't survive the next couple of months. Does, is any of it around food? Could I perhaps give him a few days of my rations that he could drag out? No. You could. No. No, nasty. 
Is he okay, we Nasty? Can't just leave him. Is he okay, Nasty? I'm not saying we can't just leave him. However, have you seen everyone else around here? Mm -hmm. Throwing out food here is like throwing out gold coins onto the street. You give to one person, okay. everyone else will be coming to you. Number one, as Simarak has taught us, to help our fellow brother is to be one with him. Number two, then be more like guidelines anyway, and I want to help this little guy. Mm -hmm. So I give him one day's rations. Fine. Mm -hmm. So you give him how many rations? One day. Uh, one day's worth. Okay. So, so a week's worth of meals. For him, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he looks at the dried rations and then points at his um, missing teeth. I have only one flask of water, but I still have some of those flasks left from the alcohol. So can I give him the flask of water to go with it so he can soften it? And then I'll fill up the bottle next time we need water. Okay. You give him some of your water. Can I, can I tap, tap Nasty Stump on the shoulder, Sam? Would you like a cleric to help him out? I don't know. He's more devout than you right now. Until I turn around. Uh, I would welcome any help for those in need. And the, the you know the clouds part and mm -hmm. the pretend sun above us kind of I will close on me a bit more. Under my rest, speak the name of my new god that I've met. I can't remember it now. Can't write down when the next time I do it. And I go. Can we give some relief to this? Elderly gentleman, and I'll cast lesser restoration. Okay. okay. D Dimitri's uh, basically uh, standing off to the side, awfully wondering, hey, what the hell are these guys waiting for? What, uh, and looking around other people and seeing what their reactions are, or bits and pieces. Uh. Okay. Um, uh, so the the old, old guy um, thanks you with a um, slobbering, um, uh, thank you very much. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Can't remember where I got it. And he gives you a disc with scratch marks on it. A disc. Yeah. I thank him and um, leave him and head on my way. Oh, I'll, I'll thank him and says, "May you have some relief from your pain." And I and I'll look at the disc and go, "Can I say anything on the like? Can I have a?" Uh, I'm gonna which to keep me on playing D and D now. Um, we may have an extra person just seeing what. Can I do a perception check on that disc and see if I see anything special? An extra person? I uh, just wondering if Martin had shown up. That was all. Because ah. I had someone pop um, poke me. Yeah. No, we don't. I'm just gonna have a look at the. Do I see anything particular on the disc that might take my notice? Strange symbols. Mm. I could do a religious check. So, so is there anyone else around? Like we've, we've gone to this big city. Beggars come and annoy a couple of the people. What, what else is happening around the, uh, the city? Okay. You can see a uh, crowd of bazaar ahead. And... Um, Well, Dimitri will be going having a look at looking around the bazaar. And I'd like to keep close to the rest of my party members because I feel a bit. And basically, every, everything around here um, seems to be um, decorated with obsidian or jade. Mm. Uh, well, um, the wealthy seem to have obsidian and jade, but only small amounts. Is this 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 disc? Is it a pickle of metal or anything? Like that? Huh? Iron. Hide. Iron. Iron, sorry, sorry. I R O N, sorry. All good. Um, okay. 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 Hmm. Not sure what this is, and I'll just put it in my side. Mm. Well, hang on, I can't put it in my side pocket. I'll put it in my backpack because I've got no side pockets at the moment. So you're wearing sleeves gear and a backpack? Yeah, I'm getting close to the <coughs> barbarian. I'm worried about 
If anyone comes and looks at me the wrong way. That's a really bad idea because someone would probably be able to take your backpack without you saying anything. They could try to take it off me. Yeah, but maybe that's something you should do with before you go to the bar. I would catch it. Yes, you would. You're just that quick. Um, <laughs> Nothing would go to his head. I would catch it. Uh, are there rich people floating around? There are a couple of rich people floating around. What are they dressed like? Uh, they are dressed in pretty looking um, loincloths. <laughs> of various colours. I wonder if any of them are susceptible to murder. <laughs> Everyone you know can be murdered at least once. <laughs> I'm just saying, I want to look like I'm rich. <clears throat> I'm sure that um, you won't stand out at all with your different coloured skin and no, uh, no tattoos. I'm covered in tattoos, thank you. What, what was the description? Wrong of them tattoos. Again? What was the? What was the description? Of, like, how do these guys look again? Okay, so they've got loincloths with um, the. You know, I mean, the, I mean the, their, like their, their skin, hair, and stuff like that. Okay, so th their skin is um, bronzed looking with. Um, uh, black um, hair, um, uh, dark eyes, so no, no one you've seen has any sort of um, colour to their um, eyes or hair. Um, they all have um, uh, black um, striking tattoos in their skin. Uh, and how tall are they normally? Uh, most of them are probably around the uh, four, four to five foot height. Oh, so I'm taller than that. Yeah. Okay, so, so Dimitri actually fits in quite well. He does. He's like, he's, I mean, he's a bit tall, five foot two, but he's got pale blonde skin, short dark brown hair, brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki, nah. As white as white can be, and with, with, blue, with blue eyes and blonde hair, and I'm sticking close to the barbarian because I'm very worried that I don't fit in right here. And yeah. I'm pretty sure that um, little Mrs. Albino, isn't she? She is. She is. So she'll be sticking next to the bubble. Not right? that she realises. No. So wait, three of us are currently shining like yeah. light lighthouses. Because there's... <laughs> stranger! Stranger! There's Albino, um, there's little Miss Whitey here. And there's... Alright, cracker! Hey! <laughs> um, hey, oh, you almost got a slap then. Oh, almost. <laughs> and I'm pretty much a bright yellow Eladrin, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling a bit... Lack of clothing at the moment, that's all I feel. So, yep. I'm young. Mm. There's a nice breeze coming in, though. Mm. I'm, just, I'm just going, okay. And because Dimitri's walked off, as usual. So I was like... Well, okay, okay. They, they said, we'll get that sort of stuff, yeah. Dimitri's even been happier to just to... Uh, keep a little bit of distance away from these weirdos. And uh, as you um, get away from them, you come across um, the... Uh, one of the uh, trade areas of the city where you see um, lower to middle class tradesmen uh, beneath thatched canopies selling animal skins, woven mats and rugs, feathered garments, drums, baskets, wooden chairs with uh, straw seats and uh, food. Loud, rude um, and seem to be um, haggling for just about everything. Can and we go talk to the... Go ahead. Sorry. Is there like one specific food vendor or like uh, for supplies for? Th there are food vendors stuff? everywhere. Uh, okay. And most of them selling um, meat on a stick. Uh, I I will have an eye over to see if I can see any plant based food. Do I see any at all? Give me a perception roll. Oh, it's going to have to be very high, I got a feeling. Mm. An 11, not going to be very okay, high. Okay, so you find some people who have interspersed their big chunks of meat with little bits of vegetable. Okay. I I ask um, how much for that bit of food there? Yes. He looks at you and goes, aren't you a slave? You're wearing slave clothes. Mm. And I point to the... <laughs> He's asked me to give him some food. Sure, he should pay for it. Because <laughs> if he was giving you money, he's obviously deficient. What? Well, Master? No, I'll go on with the act and go. They asked me, I can't get food, you have to get it yourself. This is ridiculous. Why must I get food myself? Bring food! 
Do not carry. Go. Please. <laughs> That's nicely. Do I get any sort of <laughs> bonus for me? Okay, he, he looks real. Up and buy some food for him. You can. Are you wearing the um, slave gear? No, I chose not to in the end. I didn't think anyone did, but I was wrong. So. Okay, so uh, you rock up, and he goes, "Oh, so uh, are you one of those?" So, yeah, uh, can I go up and just say, "I will, I will feed this slave." Are you sure you don't want to be um, flogged for that? Sorry, say again. He says, "Are you sure you don't want to be flogged for that?" You know, it's a crime to feed other people's slaves. We um we we kind of hand this one around. It's like a shared thing. And I I give you a strange look of going, yeah, and I say it in the way that but I'm still don't like the idea of being shared around. So yeah, so we're also not allowed to you know feed them until the uh, appointed hour. Okay, they, they, they get no, to no, eat no, once I, per day. You're absolutely right. I'm a bit bothered by the heat. I'm sorry. That's okay. You do look new to here. Have you just gotten off a ship recently? Yes. You sort of have that shifty pirate look to you. I prefer to think of it as a um, stench of adventurous man look. Well, they they call themselves the Merry Pirates in this region. You just look like one of them. Don't know That's why they're called Merry because they never um, seem to laugh when I tell them jokes. Tell us well, your jokes. That's... I just did. <laughs> I like it. How, how says, do we find? Do the Merry Pirates have a like a, a the headquarters or something? I'm sure they do, but they don't tell me stuff like that. I'm just a vendor. I sell stuff like food. What else do you sell? Have you sold a lot of food to a caravan that's come through in the last week? No, I, I closed up when they came. I didn't want to join them. People often leave the, the cities or towns and join caravans? When they're recruiting for sacrifice? Probably yes. Uh huh. So there's a merchant sacrifices off is a commonplace? Well, the lower class gets uh, sacrificed on a regular basis. Right, so it's not just merchants in general. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyone who's not a noble can be sacrificed at a moment's notice. Ah. Yes. Well. And nobles require a little more ceremony. Can you Point not taken? give Farman any ideas, please, Martin? <laughs> so, murdering nobles and stealing their clothes. Episode one. Sorry. Okay. Well, Dimitri's looking at uh, uh, some of the classmen uh, <laughs> and traders and things like that. Yep. Um, and uh, he'll be looking to purchase some uh, better... Accoutrements. Okay, oh, yeah. so you manage to get some feathered garments that make you look um, more affluent than the slaves. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it's, uh, it's not as comfortable as the slave gear, but hey, it looks better. Yep. And what about jewellery type items? Um, most of the stuff they have in jewellery here is uh, available for sale is uh, stone and iron based. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, or, or seashell. Okay. Um, uh, Demetri will aim to purchase some work on the idea that... Uh, well, okay. What sort of uh, coin or money are they using? Seashells. Seashells. That's um, their main currency. Okay. I need uh, to speak to the seashell exchange. <laughs> they sell actually, them on the seashore. Uh, offer a couple small gems. He looks at them and says, what are these? I haven't seen these before. It's the dildos, isn't it? <laughs> Wrong campaign. Wrong campaign. Damn. Damn. It's the dildos, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of people will get, and actually, oh, it's actually, yes, they're not, so they're not so useful here. How about this one? A, a, a small piece of jade. Oh, he goes, jade, you must be rich. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there was some uh, trouble in my journey, so the uh, it's just why why I travel 
on foot and say, need to uh, restock my supplies. Uh, you do you do sort of notice when he uh, when he uh, says the jade, you must be rich. Nearly everyone within earshot turns and looks at you. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice, nice work, Dimitri. Right, well, and Dimitri okay. notices he's got all these people around him trying to be helpful to see what he needs and. Uh, you know, helping with anything he needs. Does he need a guide? Plumman considers working as a bodyguard and beating people away from Dimitri. <laughs> that would be the perfect time to sneak off while he's distracted. Can I go up to Kiki and just ask for the little disc? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to end poor. Can I make a check on that little disc out of curiosity? Yep, I'm sure you could if you get it before um, Nasty walks off with it. Oh, okay. Did you ask me? First? No, no, no. I was. Actually... I, 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 um. Yes, Master. I go along and give him a wink and I hand it to him. I, I'm okay with Rhea having it first. How many mosses do you have? I'm going oh, along with it. it. Apparently, he shared around. Because otherwise, I would be locked up. <laughs> mm, yeah, I, I, I checked the I'm going things. along with the rules here. Oh, I shall give it to my. Fellow slave. Third master once removed. <laughs> so I'm only one dressed up as a slave, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll give it to my other master. Sorry, master. I forgot to show this to you before. You know? are the Princess Leia. Oh, I think you just love the dice of shame. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. No, no idea. No idea. Like like a, this looks dumb. Was it Arcana or History? Or uh, what would it be? Uh, I'll give you. We're just making straight intelligence check. Straight intelligence. Okay, well that's a seven. It's a disc. It's made out of iron. There you go. I give it to Bastard. You think? Investigation you. sorted. Can um, I look around? Is there any um, any of the vendors that are kind of sitting back and watching? Anyone who looks a bit older, a bit more grizzled, maybe? I'm gonna take a chance, and as I see it. Yeah, you shape. see an old grizzled um, guy with uh, looks like he um, shaves himself with a blunt razor. As I see the coin. Okay. He's so he, he, he's off. still got most of his beard left as he's, you know, pulling the um, blade across his face. Right. Would Can I go like... over and uh, it, say hi? And just first we'll see what he says. He looks you up and down and goes, Hello, so are you from around oh, here, he says. Fun. I'd like to, just so he's the only one who sees it, flip mm -hmm. my palm up so he sees the disc and then put it back down. So you have a shiny piece of metal with writing on it. Does he recognize, he doesn't recognize it? No, at all. Alright. Uh, sorry, just thought I'd check. Um, I am new here, yes. Okay, so is that how you greet people from where you come from? You show them shiny bits of metal with writing on it? Uh, yes, actually. It is. And where's that? He says. I take a platinum piece. Um, you south. Oh, so are you come you come no, from I the crazy think. elves, do you? <laughs> uh, I, I prefer to think of them as eccentric, but uh, as you can see from a couple of my um, party members, yes. Well, you know those, those crazy elves sacrifice non-elves. Yes, I. Do I, I, do I hear this or... in the back of Plumman? Do I hear the conversation? No, he exactly. went off to the side. <laughs> <to> <laughs> <have> <laughs> conversation. You I can heard... wander over if you want to. No, no. If I heard the thing, crazy elf. If I heard him was talking about that. He'll get a couple of crazy elves. I was going to start acting crazy. So, but I didn't hear him, so that's okay. I think they're talking about the other other elves, not us. That's right. For now. Other way. Just you wait. Elves. Dimitri's uh, looking around, there, so having made yeah. a few purchases and gained information, gained the, the uh, items he's looking for, bits and pieces. He's also looking around for some of the more intelligent and probably burlier uh, locals, mm -hmm. um, and uh, explains that yes, so uh, looking for a guide to take us to the. The, the sight of the the, uh, the 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 great serpent in the sky. Oh, uh, there's quite a few people. The... Up until you say the great serpent in the sky, you've got all these people who are eager, and the moment you say that, they all turn and walk away. All of them. All of them. 
Well, okay. I, I was aiming it to, like, okay, looking to talk to specific individuals that may look a bit more intelligent, but obviously, so they tend to uh, not want to know anything about it, okay? So, um, uh, yeah, most of them go, oh, uh, the pyramid, no, can't take you there, and just, I, I, I've got somewhere to go and walk off. <laughs> <coughs> Seems to be the standard response you get from people when you ask about going there. Okay. Okay. Yes, my cat needs shaving. Um, <laughs> I, I mentioned to plan or nothing. We should find a place to stay overnight because we might be here a while. What do you think? Yeah, yeah sure, I whatever. That's the best thing you've settled. I look I for think someone. We should be finding some sort of transport. <laughs> who is okay, okay. isolated if Dimitri, if, on their own? If the if was in earshot of Tiki saying that, he would have looked very oddly at her. Okay, and as you're going Concept through, of overnight. yeah, as you're going through the uh, markets, you find uh, what appears to be a uh, windowless um, building, more like a shed. Uh, with uh, you can see that it's basically made out of like bamboo, and inside you see uh, two of the local warriors um, with uh, daggers and um, sp uh, spears playing some sort of um, betting game. Mm -hmm. And you see, um, not far from them, in uh, what appear to be actual cells, uh, open to the uh, elements, uh, um, are starved naked men that are hunched over. Can we get a bit closer without getting in trouble and kind of sussed out if those naked men are possibly part of the caravan? You can. I'm sure you can go uh, and knock on the um, outside of the bamboo enclosure. Yes, I do that. Okay. One of the guys, um, curses, gets up and opens the door and says, What do you want? Do you want to join them? No, I'm just having a look at their misfortune. They've obviously done something terrible to end up there. Yes, they're robbers. They stole things. Uh, things that were not theirs. The worst kind. <laughs> How long have you had them for? Oh, only... Um, about, he looks up at the sky, a couple of rotations. Right. They weren't from that caravan that came through, were they? Oh, no. Couldn't sell them to the caravan. They were too um, far gone. They, they like their that sacrifices be to be a little more gamely when they um, sacrifice them there. Yeah, I can understand. They might not have made it to the actual well, sacrifice. Thank you for your time. Oh, I don't mind. Um... If you, you know, do something wrong, I'm sure you can join them. You do look like that shifty sort to me, you know, um, half-sized, um, uh, very talkative and inquisitive, um, very much unlike the locals. Yeah, I'd like to think I'm a bit separate. Um, I'm trying to find a few of my fellows from the Pirate Guild. He has points, you're weird. Oh, I, I, I'm sure you, you just steal from one of those guys in the vendors and they'll help you find the pirate guild in no time. He says, laughing, as he um, shuts the door. Right. So, I wouldn't be able to talk to those guys without the guard coming out again? Uh, well, you can probably shout at them through the um, um, bars. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Um... I wander back to the group and point out that the people that are arrested are probably pirates. Okay. Well, uh, just because the pirates might be a good source of information for us at this point. Yep. Dimitri uh, now dressed somewhat more affluently. Yep. Um, we'll go up to the guards and say, "So what's happened to them?" Oh, they're the, they're going to the have. Savory? I'll buy them now. Oh, um, they're not ready for slavery yet. Um, they've still got their mines. We're going to rip the mines out of them and then um, sell them to the slavers. I'll take them now. Well, we're, we're not permitted to um, uh, do that. They haven't paid for their chrome yet. They're not slaves yet. They're going to be branded first. Uh, I'll keep a way distance from that, from those people. Uh, it's, it's not like they need their souls. We can use them for other things. Yeah, hey. I'm sure that we can come to an arrangement. Uh, actually, I'll, uh, 
He got a few of the shelves that have come back have changed from purchases and things like that. You sort of, they sort of looked at me and says, so what sort of arrangement are you looking for? Yeah, as I said, I was looking for a couple of uh, burly young slaves to uh, help me on my journey. He laughs, he looks at them, they're, they're not burly. Uh, uh, you can see that they're... Uh, uh, they look very starved, um, they seem to be in lots of pain, and they're lying in their own filth. Yes, like slaves should be. Oh. And, and, uh, they, they seem to be limited options at the present time. So. Oh, I'm sure I can um, find you some better slaves for that sort of price, he says, looking at your shells. Mm -hmm. so. the, uh, uh, I, I did see a um, halfling recently that was just begging to be turned into a slave. Yeah, look at what she was wearing. She was begging for it. Oh. I tend to find the halflings just don't have the carrying capacity. Well, that's okay. You just keep piling on until they break. It's quite funny. Yes, but it still doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> well, I've seen a couple of tall um, elves floating through that seem to be just um, uh, like this beacon. Um, light just glistens off them. Very strange looking, so may maybe I can grab a couple of those and you'll have... Again, attract way too much attention. But great carrying capacity, I I've not seen um, elves um, fall over under um, heavy burdens very often. Yeah, that's true, but as I say, too much attention. A couple of fellows like this, just what I'm looking for. Patrick can uh, play a few rounds of the game and... We'll see how we go. Sure. Um, I, I don't mind, you know, um, uh, trying out uh, one of these games with um, you know, someone who's never played it before. He says, looking you up and down. Mm -hmm. I'm sure um, you know all the rules um, quite well. I don't have to explain anything to you, he says, uh, picking up some of his uh, uh, bone dice. Wow. Well, I'm sure I'll pick it up as we go along. And I'm sure, in, I'm sure in no time you'll end up um, swapping places with the men out in their, those cages there, or joining them. It's just one guy. There are two guys in there. Two guys. <sighs> Do we, would, like, are we in, I'm in sight distance of Dimitri? Uh, yes, you see Dimitri heading to the jail area. <coughs> Leaving you all alone to your own devices. I'm with the next of the big guy. So I go, Dimitri might get himself in trouble. Does this mean I can hurt someone? We might have to, because you know what he's like. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> this place is boring and I don't like it. Um, so, yeah, so... What is the... They're playing with dice? Well, they are playing with dice. Yep. Uh, the dice have strange symbols on them. Okay. I have strange symbols. Um... The, well, Dimitri's a clever person. It shouldn't take him long to work out uh, uh, symbols. There's only half a dozen, only half a dozen symbols on each die. So Cut to next frame, Dimitri's in prison. Uh, he's happy to uh, to lose a few shells initially, the door's and then you allow him to start winning. Can he I actually has better understanding the rules. Okay, so uh, after about um, three or four rounds, you you have a feeling that. Uh, the rules um, change to suit the um, guards, um, so you always tend to lose. Uh, well, that's right. Dimitri will correct them if, if the rules change after he has got the understanding wow. of what's going through. Because uh, that always goes. Well. And then, I'm looking for any sign that he needs help from where I and am. And then uh, so. a little bit of extra dictation to uh, manipulate the dice rolls. And Ooh, cheeky. Did you cast Silence Spell? 26 on Perception. I'm going to keep an eye. If I see him doing Dimitri side of things. Dimitri. Because. Dimitri intensifies. And I'm looking at him going, if I see that, I'm sending the big guy in. So. Yes. As you say, I figure with press the digitation, a bit of sleight of hand from his library skills. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, if, I, if I hear that. Give me a sleight of hand roll. Oh, this is good fun. <laughs> Uh, 15, 18. Okay, so, um, using some of your precipitation, 
So you actually do get disadvantage against these guys. Mm-hmm. On, on the side of hand roll, you mean? Uh, on your side of hand roll, yes. Okay. We've got an actual 20 on the second one, so we'll stick with the 18. Okay. <laughs> And uh, you, you somehow manage to um, win a hand, and they look at you um, a bit puzzled because they've been outrageously cheating the whole time. And, and, and how can you actually win if they're cheating? No, there's no windows in this place, is there? I don't know that it, it, you can see or throw a weapon all the way through their jail. I'm looking for if I see them getting a bit narky, the two get the two people. Yeah, they they they're narky the entire time. They haven't started getting narky. They're always narky. Okay, if I see extreme narkiness. <laughs> Okay, I'm just. Okay, okay, Martin. Yeah. I have definitely picked up. I don't know if you remember the, the old, uh, uh, well, somewhat animated puppetry series of the Storyteller. I think so. The uh, the was a kind one of, of the, the greatest TV shows of all time. Yeah, the Devil absolutely. Yes. There's a um, uh, an episode in that where the uh, the guys playing cards with some gremlins or devils or things like that. Okay. Yeah, gambling. They're devils. They're yeah. devils. That's right. Yes. And, and the idea is saying, how is this happening? Where are they really? I'm cheating, I'm still... Uh, 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 well, yeah. Of course you're cheating, we're all cheating, but what's happening? <laughs> yes. uh, how is he winning? He must be cheating. Well, that... I'm cheating and I'm not winning. <laughs> that's, that's what I want to say. thank you. Yeah, so that seems to be the main conversation between them um, in, that you, you're hearing because they're, they're, they're getting so confused that how, how can they be outrageously cheating and losing? Plumman so, takes a very... Because obviously, Dimitri is their better, okay... Uh, a rich noble, mer- noble merchant. Okay, and, uh, Plumman takes a very in uh, indiscreet stroll towards them with Whelm on his back. Okay, so Jeremy, I'll give you another um, side of hand roll to see if you can beat them and win the slaves. They put one of the they put the slaves up on uh, into the pot. Okay. <laughs> Are, they, uh, are, you, are you authorized to offer them as collateral? Oh, I'm and sure they, they, they to buy them. They basically say, "I'm sure we won't lose at all." Okay. Well, that. Natural one for that one. Okay. Oh shit! Oh yes. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so the, the guys are quite happy about the fact they've actually managed to win some shells. And they go, okay, it's going to cost you um, quite a few more shells to um, buy these slaves now. Because we're, 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 we're rich. As long as we've all had fun. And, uh, and yeah. yeah, you do realize that you've pretty much made a killing with the jade you sold in the market. You set someone up for life, and he didn't even give you um, what uh, you think would be the going rate for it. Hey, not something I'm concerned about. So, money's never been an issue for Dimitri. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't normally throw it around, but he certainly got it when he needs it. So, is Dimitri leaving? Is he? Or okay, so <laughs> so you leave with uh, two um, um, malnourished. Um, uh, in lots of pain, uh, men with no clothing. Oh, so you can only afford two. That's what they had oh, yeah, in the jail. Had two. Oh, for some reason they were four, I don't know why. Well, there were four people in there. Two of them were, pri- were guards, two of them were prisoners. Oh, right. <laughs> you didn't buy the guards too? Okay. Potentially you could have bought the guards as well, because they might have been helpful, but... but yeah. <laughs> Plumman throws a couple of rags at the prisoners with jobs. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 Dimitri will offer the idea, well, hey, yeah, are you looking for some extra work? So it might take a while for these, the, the slaves to uh, build up enough to uh, carry much, but... So sure, with the amount of money you're throwing around, some, uh, we... we guards on my journeys. We could, we could do some better work. Um, so they way, made they a shitload of money off him, and then some they some got a job. Things. Yep. That, that's their best sort of um, person to work for. Okay. They've now got a um, money bags employer. Until they murder him in his sleep. Um, guys, Good luck. I've got four words for the party. Yes. Stab in our sleep. Yeah, yeah, Martin just said that. 
The, uh... Yeah. Dimitri will, uh... Come back more to meet up with the others again at some point. Mm -hmm. The... Did you guys actually try and find anywhere to rest or anything? No, or we have to keep going through the... Keep, keep moving on for the time being. Kiki and I were making sure you didn't get murdered. Mm -hmm. yep. Kiki's looking at the two um, prisoners. Can I do a medicine check and see if they how well they are? Sure. One for each, or...? I'll give you one for both. Well, it's only a 12. Yeah, they're very much messed up. Okay. And I'll, I'll regret saying this to Dimitri. Hey, boss. Do you want me to give these guys a once-over? Yeah. Make feel better? Well, okay, we, we're not going to fit and healthy if we can for the journeys. And um, while you're doing that, you hear some chanting coming from um, across the uh, courtyard. Plumman ignores that and asks, have any of you actually owned slaves? Mm -hmm. I look at you, I look at you going, I look at the chanting. Oh. I have. Yes. Six slaves, bad slaves. Fix. Okay. And uh, uh, the chanting seems to be getting louder and louder, and oh. people around you seem to be um, clearing the area. What is that noise? I take a couple of rags and to fashion them into loincloths to Dimitri get to will certainly aim to uh, step aside for whatever might be coming through. You see um, people in uh, uh, robes made out of jaguar skin um, coming across the um, uh, courtyard um, holding um, uh, staves in the shape of vipers. And basic, and they've been um, carried by um, uh, people in lane class with vacant stairs. Okay. Well, as I say, uh, the is it like a procession or a parade or something, or well, how many people are we talking about? Uh, there seem to be six um, people in the Jaguar robes, and uh, each of them have um, two people carrying their litter. Okay. okay. And um, one of the, uh, the one at the back has a backpack full of stuff on their back. Mm -hmm. So you think they're provisions? Yep. So. What's the reaction from uh, my, uh, my new slaves and or new guards? Uh, they basically uh, go on their knees and face down. Okay. Oh. Nasty does the same. Plyman doesn't notice and continues to fuss over the slaves. I would do it because I'm not looking to grab attention, so... Okay, they go straight past Plyman and don't stop. Cool. And it's for the first time you actually don't get a bad smell as a slave goes by. Probably not it, the best person to try and notice that, to be honest. It, well, most of you guys <laughs> notice, because most of you guys notice the slaves stink. Barman still stinks like horses. He can't really smell much else. I was going to do a healing thing on them, but I'll wait till this all mm -hmm. procession's gone past. I don't want to take any notice of what they're doing. So. Okay. And Are you do... Shaman's going the same direction as the um, dark dragon tower thing pyramid. Yep, they are heading that way as well. Um, Excellent. I'll bend over the two the two slaves that are bowed down and going. Who was that? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm talking to the two slaves. Do I get any response from two? Slaves? Oh, you ask them who they are. No, who was that that walked past? Oh, ask. they say they are um, priests. Priests of the of the pyramid, right? Um, Temple, yeah. Pilgrimaging priests, he said. Awesome. Priests always head to the Great Pyramid. Okay. Can we ask who they are now? Uh, one of them, come up for a name for me. Um, Quick Terence and Philip. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They're after their craft dinners. Philip and Lawrence. Philip and Lawrence will do. Well do. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so they, they tell you how uh, uh, they got caught um, uh, pinching some food and were pretty much um, stripped of their provisions and thrown in jail. And where did they come from? Oh, well, they were um, uh, sort of kicked off um, the ship after they uh, refused to um, uh, kill the locals. Hmm. They, they didn't like killing a lot. Maybe they should have because they seem to have gotten worse since they decided not to kill people. Plumman okay. um, nicks a few shells off of. Um, oh God, I can't think of anything other than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the moment. Demetri. Off of Dimitri, then goes off and hunts for a few specific foods mm -hmm. and a couple of things that he knows will bring slaves back from malnutrition. Okay, so there, there's lots of um, broths made from uh, various um, uh, meat products where you uh, do stuff. There's lots of meat on a stick with some with a little bit of vegetable here and there. Yeah, and for one of the rare times in his life, he's not really looking for a lot of meat. Um, grain. Uh, Most of the broths are where you find the grain. Yeah, broths as well. Just really, he'd actually like some trail, something similar to trail mix, dried but meat. A lot of the stuff, they don't really do the dried stuff. They don't need to. But you do, uh, a lot of the foods here remind you of um, home but a simpl simplified version of the foods you grew up with. Okay. Looking for something um, that will travel, that will store, and uh, quite a quantity of it. No, nothing here seems to be preserved for travel. This place sucks. Very much so. All right. That they, they basically don't design stuff for travel. Um, some broth, bring it back, feed small portions over a period of time. I hate so this place. Lawrence and Philip are quite happy with the extra food. And your um, two guards have upgraded their spears. <laughs> they, they went and bought some new spears. The old spears were a little tatty. They I wasn't feeding the it. guards, by the way. No. Oh, no, that they've got big chunks of meat hanging off their shoulders. No, no, that's cool. Uh, the, uh... And one of them has uh, a rather resplendent um, turkey-style um, headrest. Okay. Well, he's got money. No, that's very cool. And another one has a um, what appears to be a tiger skin shield. Okay. So I'll it's good that I, li I like to see that my guardsmen are well accoutred, but don't get above yourself. No, so I'll. Oh, I'll dude, got got money. Need need to spend money. Going to dying with money doesn't help you in any way. No, no, no. And I'll just wrap up any kind of wounds on these things. I'm not going to spend a spell or anything. I'm just going to do some, just some, just make sure they're not. Make sure they feel a little bit more comfortable. So. Well, uh, they were trapped in a box for days without being able to move. Okay, so I thought they. But I'll just, if I see any sort of like open wounds, I'll just try to put some wrapping around or something. So, and I'll and I'll pretend to be my caring cleric self. Yeah, Plumman is spending a significant amount of time recuperating, and also training these slaves. Okay. That's um, Cozy, I pretty much all Plumman's doing while this shitty town is here? happening. And you find out from the um, your new guards that uh, the Great Pyramid is a couple of days' travel to the north um, on the um, edge of a great lake. Uh, well, I guess that is where we... Uh, uh, and is that appear where the, 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 the procession we, go, we went, uh, went past... Was actually in the town going to somewhere else in town, or was that it was, heading along the road towards the, the Great Pyramid? It was heading along the roads to the Great Pyramid. Uh, okay. They say it's going to uh, Chitlisan, whereas he says you're currently in uh, Huit Lac Timo. Huit Lac Timo. Okay. And you've been on the uh, Chitlisan Road which heads across, um, uh, it, it borders the uh, Lake Chitlalok and to the Bay of Uaxatan. And in the distance you can see the volcanic um, Mount Coatlatl. Chit Lisan is basically a island um, uh, capital of the 
as land, as can um, empire, though it is a holy city, not a um, functional capital. It's the equivalent equivalent of um, um, the was it I think Rome. Is it not? Is it Rome or whatever? Where, wherever is the um, Catholic center? Is like my brain not remembering. Rome, Rome, yeah. It's it's not. It's basically a country city in its own right. Can I? Okay, ask? Yeah. Now, oh, you like you mean like Vatican City? Vatican City. That was what I was thinking. Yeah. Yes. Can I ask whether they've seen any sort of small humanoids of any? You, I'll try to describe the goblins. Uh, so you, when you describe small humanoids, um, that they range from. Uh, Oh! I tried to describe what I knew the princes of, the Goblin Princes are. Have they seen any sort of strange people like that come through? They say yes, and they, well, one of them points at Nasty. <laughs> you realise that uh, when, when you were saying strange, small, and um, big ears and uh, stuff, that Nasty did fit the bill for most of it, except for the fact he didn't have green skin, at which point they went, oh yeah, uh, some of those came through um, about a week ago. Did they end up going to the big temple? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Before the um, before the ceremonies um, started daily. Okay. And they were they were travelling with a whole lot of sacrifices. Okay. Um, am I getting different responses and, from the, and the were the sacrifices that... equally like did they look the same as these these creatures or? Um, um, no, um, the sacrifices are all locals, or, um, slaves, or, um, other wanderers who, um, don't look the same. They have a standing order to arrest anyone who doesn't look local. Oh. Do I get a look? Do I get the look of, like... Well, that they could arrest you, but now they've been paid by someone else, they don't feel the need to. The only time I've liked Dimitri's right I'm now. I'm not comfortable so. with that at all. <laughs> oh, look. Okay, okay. And the, uh, um, so yeah, so Dimitri will be able to talk to them and find out more about what they know about the, uh, the capital, where the prisoners are going to. Well, uh, the, the, the capital is where all the priests hang out. Yeah. And, uh, it's where slaves go to get sacrificed. Okay. And where, um, the, where the winning um, sports team goes to get sacrificed. Where the um, best guardsmen go to get sacrificed. And everything he always ends with is get goes to get sacrificed, except for priest. You mentioned uh, when we were having our earlier uh, entertainment. Yeah. Or actually, when I was first discussing the idea of purchasing the slaves, that these, these slaves weren't actually ready for slavery. Oh no! Normally, you they still have their mind. Yeah, we normally rip their minds out. I ask how. It'd be useful for a slave to have some mind still. Clerics do it, and then they basically do what they're told by the uh, owners, mm-hmm. as part of the magic. Okay. Uh, and the the cl- the local clerics that. Uh, Hugh Atha, whatever the, the, the city we were just at. Yeah, clerics of at San Teotl. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so obviously, yeah, which is, oh, we actually more about the, the, the town we were at, like in the sense that, did that have a temple? Pole town, is it all male or is it any females? Oh, uh, there, there are females wandering um, around occasionally, but they're always um, escorted by lots of men. Okay. Okay, I'm stick. I'm going to get, cool, gotcha. I'm just trying to have, get an idea how kind of, Sounds like I can't just wander myself around, so yeah, that's what I'm guessing. So, look, you don't notice any um, uh, women by themselves. Okay, that's very cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I was trying to find out. So, when they said the clerics uh, turn the sl- turn them into slaves, mindless slaves, mm-hmm. was that happening? With the 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 local. I'm assuming there was a local temple at. Who are, or whatever the, not, not the capital, the other town will just at the start with eight rather than city. Yep, that's the one you're currently in at the moment. You haven't left it yet. I, I, thought, we're, I thought we were back on the road and travelling again. Well, so, um, in okay. case you wanted to pick anything else up, so this is what you're oh, getting okay. from there. It, it, well, it, yeah. That's fine either way. It was more the question of, yeah. Um, were these slaves going to the local temple to be 
uh, prepared for slavery? Well, they were waiting until priests returned because all the priests um, of um, the nation are heading towards the capital for some religious purposes. Okay. Something big happening then? Apparently, he, he doesn't really care as long as he gets paid. Okay. It, it's not the job of a soldier to care about religious matters. We've heard on the That's cabal a loaded right. statement. Um, <laughs> we've, we've heard on the cabal that uh, the uh, the 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 serpent in the sky has been happening a lot more regularly than previously. Oh, it it's only started about a week ago. He says um, uh, it it happens um, about every. Um, about every full rotation, he says, okay. pointing at the uh, at one of the um, uh, big floating continents you can see in the sky. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, yes. And when it um, reaches, he and he describes some sort of um, zenith. Um, you should see the um, uh, one of the spirits going up into the sun. Apparently, it's a good thing, he says, but he always feels horrible every time it happens. Why? Have you, have you witnessed them? It, it says yes. I've witnessed about five of them. So well, five uh, I, of mean, them I, I mean, you, you say you feel horrible. You mean when you see it coming up, going in the sky from a long way away? You weren't there. Per, you weren't there directly when it left the ground. Oh, he says no. I don't think I'd want to be there because everyone there gets sacrificed. That's that's the rumors anyway. Okay. Uh, I was uh, happy looking after slaves um, away from the location. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the longer it took to look after them, the less chance I had to go to visit whatever's happening up there. Well, I'm sure we'll find out soon what's happening there. He just sighs, right? Such is life, he says. All right, Ned. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, I think we need to... Is there anything else in town that we should pick up before we uh, travel to the capital? So he just thinks, he goes, well, you've, got, you've now got a couple of guards, you've got a couple of slaves, you've got uh, a couple of strange people, so if anything, all you're missing is priests. Indeed. Though he doesn't think that the local priests would actually want to travel with you because they're a bit stuck up themselves. Of course, he didn't really say that, but that's what all, all the guards think. If only we had our own priest. Um, and I'm kind of whispering to Mitch's ear, if we can get you some priest guards, I could pretend to be a priest if you want. Are you tall enough? I'm six foot three. You must be this high to ride. Oh, I'm a, I'm a wood elf, so I'm pretty six foot two, I think, sorry. Dimitri's having a quick thing to the... Uh, the priest that we saw go through the procession, mm -hmm. how many of them were female? A couple. Apparently it's one of the professions that accepts women. Oh, okay. So, how many of them were blonde? None. <laughs> Everyone has um, black hair. i got some paint that'll fix that. So... Oh, sorry, girl. It's for, the, it's for the greater good. With any blue eyed. And, and also, Dimitri's responding. Like, have you thought about that? Dimitri will go back to Ziggy and say, um, Yes, that could work, but how effective do you think you could be at being a priest of Exantiotl? How cruel are you? I slapped Dimitri. Exactly. <laughs> I hand Kiki a knife. Go. Uh, the guard just sort of um, looks at you and says, You probably don't want to um, see other guards, so you do that. A slave with a knife is a death sentence. Do you see any guards around here? There are guards everywhere. Oh, shit. Well, obviously, I don't do we, that. We're still, we're still in town, apparently. This oh, okay. okay. Right. So, because uh, basically, in case you needed anything before okay. you left town, I thought, uh, I thought out of town, I always slap him in. And I say, I look at Dimitri going, <laughs> When we're outside of town, we'll discuss him. this further. Don't think it's a good place for me to hit a master and I look at, and I really really in saying that to Dimitri <laughs> it's, just, it's a good thing you're paying me because I, I know your slaves not a slave he says oh, he knows me yeah. yeah it's a good thing you run along with that huh yeah. mm. he, he, he just um, shrugs and says as long as I'm getting paid I don't care 
Exactly. I, I, don't, I don't get paid to have political opinions, he says. But one thing I am paying you for is your knowledge and experience. So He's more than happy to um, provide knowledge and experience when asked for. Same thing. Yes. Um, I can be mean if I have to. And he says none of them are elves because they're actually at war with the elves. Hmm, good problem. Uh, so are there many elves like her around? Uh, are we talking the elves, uh, the, 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 the white elves or something that we saw in the there sky are, just down in the tunnel process? Is it, there are, uh, there were dark skinned elves you saw in the They were dark skinned, right? Yeah. I, knew, I knew they were technically dark or shadow elves type stuff, but I had a vague thought they were, they were white skinned. So the shadow elves you've heard of are white skinned, which is why seeing dark, elf, uh, dark skinned elves in the tunnels was a surprise. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, well, okay. Dimitri certainly talked about the idea of, yes, were they elves that you're at war with like her, or are they more dark of skin? But you had seen the dark skin elves earlier the last time you were down here. Yes. So you know they're natives. So says, yeah. I know that they're all dark skinned and they're, that they um, worship demonic gods, so you don't really want to trust with them and apparently some of them also follow at Seattle but who really knows where what an elf really follows yes. I restrain I look at the guards I just give that look of like he just grins at you my god um, yeah. it's okay and, and let's face it yeah, who really speech. cares what they follow is that true <laughs> I, don't, I don't get paid to care that much unless you want me to care you can pay me. No, no. <laughs> See, more than happy not to care what they follow. Okay, well... I, I'm much more interested in the religion of uh, the Ashkans here, of the, the religion of Ashantiotl. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, following through with what its priests will do and things like that. Um, so, based so. on what they're wearing, the, the garbs, yep. and I asked the... Um, is it some, can we purchase these garbs within the city? Like some similar garbs? Well, the the priests wear. Mm. Uh, no, they're expected to actually um, um, be limited just to the priesthood. And if anyone else is to sell that gear, then it's a death sentence. Mm. Because it's the, the jaguar is a holy animal of the um, um, region. Really? Get me on a lawn, I'll get you a uniform. Okay. Um... I'll... I'll, I'll to meet you again, asking the guards so that the, 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 the um... Of my other companions here, how many of them might not be slaves if people saw them? If, well, we, if we give them appropriate clothing. The, the, the one over here who smells of horse um, could quite easily um, pass for a native. He has that um, look of, um, I will beat the crap out of you if you um, uh, push me wrong. Perfect for a local. He's actually a big teddy bear. What, what is a um, teddy bear? I've never heard of that sort of bear. But you're suggesting that the uh, the elf and the halfling and the uh, <coughs> the blue one would blue? never pass as uh, Bitsy. anything other than slaves. Is that correct? Uh, um, Dimitri, it's yellow. He might be a bit yellow. Yellow, sorry. <laughs> oh, I did take you too, sorry. That's fine. Right. Words, yeah, um, yeah, they're a bit too tall to pass as locals, uh, but they can be advisors. Hmm. As long as you have someone dressed locally who's in charge. Hello. And you fit that bill pretty well because, well, you've got um, uh, ostentatious headwear, uh, and you were throwing jade around earlier. Indeed, indeed. Only oh, nobles uh, have jade in this country. It's illegal for anyone else to have it. Mm. Did you Interesting. Catch. Um, well, I suppose okay, if in that case, we dress up yeah. as advisors. We'll do a bit more purchasing mm. for no, no uh, slave. getting um, Plarman some appropriate uh, Ashcan warrior garb and clothing and probably an appropriate spear and shield and things like that. To make him not fun. intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, if, if being less conspicuous is a thing we're after, I'd like some robes, please. And um, the, it's something, something appropriate for advisors. He gets some, um, uh, it very much looks like um, uh, silken robes. 
Ooh. Doesn't really hide anything, but it oh. does um, cover. So I think um, uh, Arabian style um, um, so Right, so I'm, I'm, I'll be a half lighthouse then. A diamond in the rough. You can actually get something that almost matches like your skin color. Wouldn't that just confuse people? Probably, but then they'll think you're magical. Yeah. Which Where? coincidentally, you can't. Yeah. And which works for advisor. Can yeah. I, because I've got a blonde hair right now, mm-hmm. which is unusual. We can just mud through your hair. Or I can just get you a scarf and um, tie your hair up in a scarf. Mm. Oh, happy to do that. Or both. You just look at your hair, the guy just looks at you and says, Mud, not very becoming of an advisor. Do you have any dyes? We do. What colours? We can go bright red. <laughs> you never see Skissy scared before. She's scared mm. when he looks at the looks at the joy of, you know, yeah. Go on. Hmm. How much for the dye? Well, I don't think bright red is gonna help her blend in at all. I uh, know, it's it's for people who want to stand out. Which, well, coincidentally, will sort of make you blend in a little bit Red more. will stand out less than whatever that was. Exactly. <laughs> hey. At which point you see um, someone dressed in what appears to be um, uh, knee-high boots with um, very um, short revealing skirt, um, bar- barely any covering around the middle, and long um, flowing curled red hair. Just girl walking past, just... Ignoring everyone um, as she's um, walking through the market. I like this town. Do we walk into the wrong Plumman side of is town incredibly inconspicuous in his staring. Um, most of the guards who, who look at her just you know, pause as she just walks right past. Who's that? Oh, it, she looks like one of the um, um, pirates um, of the region. Can I um can I catch eye contact and say hi? Well, she's it's gone past me, before no, we actually asked who she was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I can I job. not chase after, but can I walk after her and catch up? Yes, you you could if you like. Um, there's a whole lot of people following her as well. What? How many? Probably about twenty or thirty at least. What the? F- yeah, this is a bad idea. No, most so- most of them male. Climb and kick. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I still before. do. Okay. I reluctantly get my head tied, but we'll do it on the way through. <laughs> like I'm going. And uh, so she seems to be just buying provisions at one of the stalls from someone who is just just now open ruling. Right. Can I um introduce myself, <clears throat> but not in a threatening way because I realise she's got a whole bunch of people who'll probably try and grunt me up if I get too close and don't approach carefully. Now, the moment you come within um, uh, talking distance, she knows that she has a pair of um, shining um, daggers in her hands that weren't visible at all beforehand. Mm-hmm. They, are, they are glistening uh, in the light and um, uh, seem to be made out of um, precious metals and um, jewels. Right, she's very rich. I go, greetings. Um, so, um, soon to be less fingered one, uh, what do you want? Mm-hmm. I wish to speak to you about the... No, let me think. Um, I just wish to introduce myself to an obvious beauty of the seas. She looks at you and saying, I've met your time before and your speech. What is it you want? Before I start removing fingers. I did not wish to cause offence. I'm new here. I'm trying to figure out with my party our next steps and... I saw you and felt more comfort speaking to you. So, so is Plamen now dressed as appropriate for an Ash Game Warrior? He is. I'll, I'll Dress, dressed more I'll as a... Grab my side and pull it back. He's, he's dressed more as a leader of the Azcan soldiers than as the Azcan that's soldiers fine. themselves. Yeah, absolutely, that's good. Uh, <laughs> I haven't done my hair yet, but um, if he does, if um, Nasty Stun points back to us, I'll... And that the guard um, hand you a scarf. The guard? Guard that he had been buying all the stuff for you guys. Oh, I'll, I'll, and I'll put my hand. I'll if Nasty points <laughs> towards us, I'll make sure that I try to act like a um, advisor. Second, I thought it was like a general okay. guard. Like, oh, put this long way. Put the guard and grab stump. 
Have you I seen Nasty talking to the um, uh, tall, leggy um, redhead? And you, you do know she's very moment. quick to bring daggers out of nowhere. Here we go. But Sim Sim Simarak has led me here. I have to follow it where it goes, guys. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's fair. That's fine. We just I'm just waiting to see what happens. No. So, uh, you, so you have this party of people. Are you trying to sell them? No, we, um... We're here on a mission beyond most understanding. Oh, so you're on a mission from God, I see. <laughs> Which God do you hail? Uh, uh, obviously the true God, probably not the one, same one you do, but then again, hey, halflings have been known to worship strange things in, in my time. I even had one that worshipped um, the um, bed I slept on, uh, even while I wasn't there. That's the name of your God. The bed I slept on. No, that, that was that one of the halflings that, I, that I've known in my time. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. All hail the um, So what is the name of the God that you um, praise? I just call him God. Or are you scared to say it in the street? Well, in this place, is a death sentence to name any God but the stupid one they worship. Do you worship one who is upon the seas? The local one is not upon the seas. The local one is the corrupter god. Right. I um, I also have similar allegiances, and I was wishing to ask for your help. What help do you need, um, especially considering you have a whole bunch of people with you? We um, is that somewhere we can speak that would not be overheard? Well, I have a boat, but no, no guarantee that the locals aren't spying. Hmm. They're very shifty people. Glad you speak my language, by the way. It makes it so much easier, she says. Well, I'm glad I could help. Um, I would like to speak to you. I could make it worth your while. I do wish you no harm. Would you be willing to allow me to come to your boat to speak to you? Sure. You may bring your friends you if you wish. We might actually I, I'll have some bring them, food. but they probably won't come across the boat. They'll come across the boat. They'll probably wait on the dock. Is that all right? Crowd on the cr crowd on the dock would be very suspicious. While he's talking, can I walk over? Yeah. She pauses and looks at you. He's a friend of mine. Uh, she's a friend of mine. Excuse me, um, She's safe. You're good, nasty. We'll just wait and see what you're doing. I'm good, yeah. Okay. Just let us know if you want a hand. Okay, and I'll walk back. Yeah, I'm speaking to my friend. Thank you. Yep. And I, I just say they name, name nasty, so she might ask questions about it. She just sort of uh, looks... Looks me up and down, I Yeah, looks you up and down. Can I do a bit of an insight roll when I walk back? You can. Because I'm just going to walk up and down, turn and go. Uh, oh, I'm good at the insight, actually. I remember. 22. I'm just going to get a guide here because it sounds like she looks like she's a kind of captain or something like that from what... Well, she seems to be a high-ranking person yeah. on a ship. Um, kind of also um, has enough of a reputation not to be accosted in the streets. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. And I'll just say... Except by halflings. halflings. Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> okay. Oh, I said... Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, ma'am. And then I'll just walk back. I don't even ask her. Mm -hmm. And I'll just walk back. And I'm just going, okay. Just get no idea, because I just... I'm and then you start walking back. Um, there's a whole bunch of guys who just seem to circle around you. Guys. Coming up close to you. How close? Hmm. Enough to start touching you. Is this something that Plyman would could observe? Because mm -hmm. Kiki had walked all the way over, and then once they realised she wasn't part of the conversation, they would sort of close in on her. Plyman slowly makes his way over. Mm -hmm. And I and I, just discreetly doesn't I, join them. Just make sure he's relatively close. And I go and I I look at all these people around and go, I'm with him. The, and the, I point at the big burly, don't mess with me kind of barbarian. Give me guy. a persuasion roll. Oh, okay. I'd okay. like. You have disadvantage with this roll. Okay. Mm, could be worse. About Thirteen. Oh, come on, fail. I want to kill someone. Okay. Apparently they all um, s uh, separate at that point. Oh, damn. Okay. It was convincing enough. Plyman looks around. These, these were the low-ranking low, low people. Mm -hmm. 
He spits on the ground and says, weak. But you do see um, handprints where they were um, touching um, Kiki's clothing. Did they? I did not even see. No, no, no. Imagine walking through a bazaar in um, India or. Um, did they um, cause me China. any damage at all? Like, oh, no, they didn't have the chance to. Okay, you know what I mean, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's why I was double check. Because you're also taller than them, so it's a lot harder for them to actually do that sort of stuff. Okay. If any call damage, you know where I was going to go with mm -hmm. them. So, yeah. Okay. Sure. So, I go. But they, they, they were trying to get into your pockets before they noticed Blayman and Renault. Cool. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have said anything. I could have killed one. They would have left you alone after that. Well, well yeah, no, but you can't always be there to protect me. I know, but... Can I... Yeah. Can I just let the party know that I need to go on the boat and they can come or stay? It's up to them. You can, she says. Uh, should right. we, should uh, we, she, she gives you directions to the docks. She'll be heading there shortly. Okay. Fantastic, thank you. And and I'll make sure that I'm going... If we're going on a boat, I don't want any of those low-linking, touchy-feely people around me. Is the boat on the ocean? It is. I'm out. That's all right. Look, guys, I want to have a chat to her. So am I speaking just to the party now? Yep. yep. They give, yep. So they give a wide berth because you have... Um, she's admitted that she also... Three soldiers. Sorry? They have, they, people give you a wide berth because you have three soldiers with you. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. Um, so I just say to the party, it appears that she um, shares some of our affinities and I look at the two guards and kind of tap my book for the rest of the party so that they don't realise what I'm talking about. Okay. Did that work? Uh, one of the guards um, uh, tries to be helpful and says, I think he's suggesting she's a pirate. You need to stop talking. And I think, I think she's worth me speaking to. Um, she's offered for me to come to her boat. Will you guys want to come onto the boat or do you want to wait here till I return? No, nope. uh, well, I have fun. At which point the guard um, pipes up helpful again. I think she's trying to enslave some of you. You know, he could be right. So should I go alone, and perhaps you guys could come rescue me if it goes badly? I don't care. I'm not getting does, on that boat. Does he? Does the guard say that in in front of everyone? Yep. Or with us. And what what's her reaction to? Oh, she's walking. No, no, she's not there. Like, Stump right, came I'm, back to us to talk about. I'm going to at least team. follow with um, nasty stuff. Okay, so you see that there's a bunch of um, burly locals carrying the um, equivalent of um, a um, hay bale on their backs, each um, following her towards the um, docks. It's a lot of hay. Mm. Oh, she was getting supplies. Yeah, she supplies. Yeah. Um, I'll stick with playing outside, but... And I mentioned the nasty. If you... Got, we're going to make her look a... A secret word, if he says it, that we're kind of like, within certain distance, we know to come rescue. I usually go with, oh shit, works quite well. And, um, and you see that a couple of uh, local guardsmen try to stop her at the docks. Okay. But she doesn't pull out one of the flashy daggers she showed you earlier. Yeah. She pulls out uh, what appears to be a um, stone style, stylish dagger from the region. Instead. They sort of back away from her at that point. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna go, guys. Um, do you guys want to wait here? Um, sure. I'm uh, gonna follow with you. Is there an effectively a, uh, a a tavern type shelter on the dock? Uh, looking, we there, can wait in? there are a couple of taverns along here. Most of them sell um, really poor um, uh, grain-based wine, mead. Pro 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 probably um, more alcoholic than flavoursome. Any cheese? Okay. Maybe some cheese. Really crappy cheese. <laughs> really crappy Trust me, cheese. I'm so good to have some more than cheese right now. Mm -hmm. I'm an elf after all. Okay, so the, you, you try some of the food here. It is the blandest food you've ever tasted. It's not meat. I'm still getting over my meat issue. Though you do realise it has actually got, uh, it's been cooked uh, and fermented in meat products. I'm slowly getting better. So it, it's got, it's basically completely um, uh, been made with um, animal this, fat. 
As long as I don't see anything that relates to what I saw Darcy do to that dinosaur, I'm okay with it, okay? Because if I see anything that looks like a piece of meat from that kind of dinosaur, then I'm starting to feel a bit in the air. Okay. Because I don't know what else, who else has done the same thing Darcy did to a dinosaur. So, so. Not many people. So I'll, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit with, um, I'll sit with Plowman and I'll just, I'll have that nasty wine as well. And I was like, I'll sit there and go, okay. And I'll just, I want to be, be able to see where the ship is from where we are. Sitting like it's, it's alcoholic enough that if a fly flies over the um, alcohol, it just drops dead. And it's protein. <sighs> oh, I miss my nice wines. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. okay. And if a little bit of it falls on the table, the table starts to smoke. So put hairs on your chest, Kiki. Or burn them off. Or burn them off. Um, I'll take a sip, which I'm really regretting right now. It really does have that burning sensation. Just imagine the dead follicles you could get from your face if you use this as a face mask. Mm. You look amazingly glowy before you kind of yell in pain. Oh, but, you know. glowy. I don't have to do anything like that. Okay, so uh, the uh, three of you, I'm assuming that um, um, Dimitri goes onto the boat as well. No, no, I was looking for Kevin. Okay, so you sit down with the other two then, and then Dimit, uh, then Nasty and uh, Raya get on, onto the ship. The ship uh, looks spectacular. It has, it is um, done in um, bright colours. The sails themselves are um, not white. They are uh, brilliant um, blues, golds, and silvers. I think this vessel's uh, better than the old one you're on, Nasty. And um, there are uh, really nice trimmings everywhere on the outside. It, this uh, looks very well maintained. It doesn't look like a local ship. The local ships next to it are like um, are little uh, kitty boats in comparison. Mm. And the style of their ships is um, uh, looks like they don't even bother maintaining it. It's covered in dings and stuff. This thing looks like it's almost like it came off the production line yesterday. Um, while we're sitting down and watching, we, I'm sure we're outside in a tavern. Just watching yeah, but the inside. tavern doesn't really have an inside. I know. It has a cover. I know. Okay. But can I, when the barmaid drops their drinks off, can I say, do you know much about that ship? This is be a pirate ship. Is that a person well known around here? Pirates, all of the kings of themselves well known. Oh. Anyone who comes off a pirate ship either um, pays their way or gets thrown in jail. Okay, so, uh, and I'm just, I'm just trying to get some background information if we could, but I go, okay, cool. I'm just kind of watching from afar, so like, while trying to sip gently this drink. Mm -hmm. Well, you can guarantee that if you had any sort of bacteria in your mouth, it's gone now. So hygienic. It is very much a sterilization. Um, Plowman must be loveless. Yeah. You could Actually, Plowman's not drinking. Is he? No. Oh. Well, you're in the you're in the heat, which is uh, the kind that most of them don't drink. Yeah, he's uh, social drinking, and by that I mean he's pretending to drink. Okay. You could bottle this stuff and use it for antiseptic. You can, yes. It, it basically would, you'd think was the basis of alcohol rubs and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. That's the, that's the level of flavor it has. I'm having one sip. Then ten minute break. You, you, pro you think after tasting this, you probably won't taste your food for a week. Ten minute break. That might be good if I'm having dinosaur. Okay. Not the Everything will just be. Uh, it has a soft texture, and this is about, about as much as you can tell about it from now on for a while. I'll have. I'll leave a break after the first couple of sips. Going. Yeah. I'll, I'm just waiting. <laughs> By the looks of the food passing around, you probably need the alcohol. Okay, so getting onto the ship, um, uh, first thing you notice is there's been a um, table set aside under a, um, a nice silk awning with a, a selection of um, pastries, um, uh, wines, and um, other sort of delicacies from around the um, region. Hmm. And um, you also notice that most of the crew are female. Yep. Really? Excellent. Plyman regrets his life choice, including the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Uh, and the captain basically makes the um, person who um, invited you on look plain in comparison. Wow. She's very charismatic. That's fine. Okay. Do, I, well, do I see this from the dock, from the way I'm sitting? Or? Um, they don't show themselves um, to the locals very often. And, and basically the uh, person who 
um, uh, brought you uh, up is probably uh, dressed to distract. Whereas everyone here is um, dressed for um, working on a boat and dealing with ropes and sliding along ropes. So uh, thin leather that basically protects um, the body. Yep, no, that makes sense. Can't um, hear you, Amaris. Uh, so you adjusted to the table to sit uh, in front of the captain. The captain uh, looks you up and down and says, so are you um, looking to join a crew? Not exactly. Can I do a quick perception to see what I think of this person in front of me in terms of trustworthiness and perhaps I could whisper under my breath to Simarak to um, guide me on whether this is someone I should trust. Mm -hmm. uh, Give me an insight roll and a religion roll. Alright, insight is 16, religion is 14. Okay, so uh, as long as you follow the pirate code, you could trust someone like this. Mm -hmm. uh, which means uh, you're not a shipmate, so until you're a shipmate, um, you're fair game. Yeah. So and, I can follow it that way. And uh, from um, what you can remember from the um, book you've read, uh, you you have been given um, uh, an invite onto the ship. So unless you offend them in any way, um, you're treated as a guest until they ask you to leave. Perfect. And if you refuse to leave when they and, ask you uh, to leave, then pretty much... Um, uh, they're free to do whatever they wish. Yep. I wish to reach out for about something very important that could not be discussed on the streets. Just take a seat and tell me all about it. Feel free to try some of um, our food. We have uh, a gathering of stuff for our uh, crew and um, any special guests we may bring back. Understood. I sit and I take a sip. Mm -hmm. And I'd also like to compliment her on a very well-run and well-presented ship. That's okay. We can't stay here long unless we want it to start falling apart. These are not our waters. I orders. understand. That's one of the reasons I'm here. I was... Could you please say that again? You broke up. Yeah, I'm going to turn display off so that maybe I can get a little bit less uh, yeah there we go alright um, so what I'm wondering is I've been sent here by a god so you're on a mission from god essentially yeah. save a great deal of root and the god that you and I both I have heard from god but our god you can see that she has a symbol for oh, yes. Asterius around her neck. Is um yes. Uh, Break out a little bit there again. Uh, she has a symbol for Asterius around her neck, and she does say, yes. uh, "I am not welcome in this city, but my um, followers are who don't actually worship my god um, openly." Can you still hear me? I can right, hear you. I'm cutting out at the worst possible time. Yep, okay. So she said that um, uh, while she worships um, her god openly, her followers do not, so they can walk amongst the uh, cities of this world. Alright, so I would like to and say, well, our god has gifted me this, and I placed the book upon the table and has set me a task which I must complete. And what task is that, she asks? I have to stop the, the, um, the events unfolding at the pyramid which have been instigated by, amongst other people, a couple of government princes. And at the moment, the majority of gods are and are not able to live in the world outside. Well, I did get a vision from my god about a um, 
a legless halfling. That would be me. Though you do seem to have some legs, so I'm not really sure how the legless halfling works into it. Nasty. Do the I thing. was once a pirate who had stilts. I gave up my legs. I pretended to be a human so that I could fit into areas that halflings could not always get. However, why, why would you want to do that? that? Halflings are just so much better at doing so things. So that I could follow my true calling. Why would you want to pretend to be human? Halflings have so much more agility than most humans do in the rigging. They do, but in some of the cities, it's a lot easier to get around as a human. Especially in the um, nations where halflings are slaves. Well, everyone, everyone's a slave somewhere. Most women are considered um, property in, in this nation. So, and beware what weapons you use but, against the locals, because not all your weapons will work. Which I've also been warned by Simarak. But if he spoke to you of a legless halfling, he speaks of me. Okay. No lies under his name. Until proven otherwise, I will um, believe you at this stage, she says, um, giving you a sidelong look. How do you want me to help you? Well, can you tell me what the vision was? See if it collates with mine. That I would come across a legless halfling um, uh, who would um, seek me out for assistance. Can we get to our destination quicker using this boat? Is that a possibility, or is it, or is it completely the wrong direction? I don't know. I don't know well, the geography. I am on the. She 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 pulls out her map and lays it on the table and says, "We're we're in the city here. If you're going to a great pyramid, you go across a um, um, bridge that they've made into this island here, then another bridge to that island over there, and that's on the um, edge of a great lake." Um, they don't like um, visitors there from people like us. We get sunk if we get too close to that city. How close can you get without being risking your vessel? This city? Right, okay. But I can um, return here in a couple of days if you want to go elsewhere. I just can't stay here much longer. The most we can stay in any <laughs> city here is about uh, six to eight hours before our ship starts to degrade. Degrade. Yeah, no. I, I can understand that because of the gods. So it degrades over time. It degrades in um, regions that do not belong to our culture. Uh -huh. Is that a common thing? It is a common thing. Yeah. Interesting. Can you help us with information? I can, depending on what you're asking for. I've already told you a little bit about um, the city. And the uh, yeah, I wish to, to know more about the pyramid of the priests. Oh, that I can't help you much with because uh, we do not deal with those priests. Because honestly, they're a little insane and they're a little um, uh, knife happy. Have you ever had run-ins with the priests before? Uh, on the water, yes. On land, they normally win. What kind of vessels do they have? Rather crappy vessels. Easy to sink. Hmm. hmm. Wouldn't that make you more wanted in terms of... You'd think so, but we bring slaves. Huh. That's odd. Okay. So, as long as we um, satisfy a need, we can dock. If we don't satisfy a need, like, we've now sold our slaves, so we no longer have a need here, we out, we wear out our welcome. Mm-hmm. So, if we had slaves to trade to this priesthood... You'd be able to travel there without oh, being. Sunk. We would not be able to travel there. We can only reach this city with slaves. Oh, I see. Right. So okay. we can't. We can only dock here if we got something they want. If we don't have right. anything they want, we can't dock here. Okay, that makes sense. Which is amusing that we end up selling most of their warriors back as slaves. Uh -huh. Do you know what this is? And can I pull out that little disc with the? Ah, uh, yeah. She has a look at that and goes. You probably want to show that to people in um, the uh, city of Dahashatra. It seems to be. Do you know be, what it does? Yeah, it, it's an uh, emblem of their beggar king. Oh. Ah, 
are handy. That's perfect. Thank you. And she says, um, All right. Um, and she she, she sort of rolls the map over a little bit, and you see that it is uh, quite a long distance in the ocean past a lot of islands to get to that um, nation. Yeesh. It's um, uh, the equivalent of um, Hawaii's distance from Japan. Oof. Gotcha. Did either of your characters pay much attention to the the map with the three locations that we saw when we first arrived? A little bit. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Give me an okay, I'm check. I'm making an investigation check. Investigation check. Close, so. Nine. Nine. Mm, interesting. I'm going to change dice, but I'll keep that roll, obviously. Um, 18 for me. For seven. Okay, so you, you look at it going, ah. Well, it's a bit hard for Kiki to look, because Kiki's not actually on the boat. No. Good job, yeah. Kiki. But Kiki got a great roll and would have actually given you some information if you had been there. I know, right? All that far side. Kiki's a bit, a bit on the drunken side, didn't you? So, um, Kiki's no, noticing no. the floating um, um, bugs in her drink as quite interesting. So, what did um, Nasty get? Uh, Nasty was not hearing that we were rolling, so... Uh, Nasty rolled a 17, is this insight? Investigation. Uh, same thing, 17. Okay, uh, you are able to um, say that the uh, island she's referring to, way out in the ocean, is probably one of the markers you were given as a place to go to. Okay. But... And that was given to us by Simrock, wasn't it? It was, yes. When we first arrived and we came across the Afghan war, yeah. he, he uh, blasted down fire and sort of left a, uh, a crude map, well, not particularly crude, but <laughs> a map on the ground. We three markers. Ask, should we be heading there now? We're already heading to one of the locations. We, we chose the first one, the you're, closest one. Of success. You're adjacent to one of the locations now, and this is probably about maybe one to two months sea travel away. Right, no, we need to handle this now. Okay. Um, can I, just in a couple of days, can I say a couple of days is probably too soon? Um, would you consider 10 days? She could take 10 days, though if you do need her sooner, I'm sure you can ask God to give you a, bit, a um, uh, nudge in my direction. Perfect. Um, and have you any, I'm not asking for money or anything, we're quite well put off, but have you anything else that you could perhaps give me that would help me in the next step of my journey? Well, um, how good are you with... Um, Daggers? Um, I'm not too bad. We've got a couple in my party that use daggers. Okay, so she pulls out um, three obsidian um, daggers from a case and saying, Well, okay. these used to belong to priests. Uh, so you will find that um, they will work. Um, uh, as if they're local weapons against the um, people of this region. Uh, as in, you don't get disadvantage when you attack with them. Right. Um, yes, that would be fantastic. Thank you. And what is your name? I'm sorry, I've told you mine. I've not got yours. Okay, so female captain name. Give me a female captain name. Bob. What? Bob Adam. Short for Kate. <laughs> so apparently it's Bob short for Kate. It's a okay. okay. Captain Bob short for Kate. You guys, you guys are weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, right? That's pretty cool. And then um, look, think, like, never mind. I appreciate okay. everything you've done. You haven't seen Blackadder? <laughs> Bob. I have. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Many years ago. <laughs> okay, so... Thank you so much for your help, and I look forward to seeing you soon. And we may exchange real names if you actually survive, she says. I'm still searching for my new name. At the moment, Nasty Stump is all I have. Yeah, well, you don't really have a Nasty Stump, so um, try not to pick a name of what you don't want to have happen to you. What kind, Bob? 
that's very true. Thank you so much. Yes, I, um, we had Mysterious has a habit of making um, your namesake become real. Can you say again? If you, what you call yourself will be how you end up. Right. So calling yourself Nasty Stump long enough, um, and you will so have Nasty Stump. Are you picking a new name now, or is that just? Well, I will obviously have to change that. I think, wouldn't I? Well, you're under his um, attention now, so he's obviously got his eye on you. So the longer you call yourself something, is the more likely that you'll wake up like that one day. I'd like to change my name to Red. Red what? It's red. Red for redeemed. Simply red, nothing else. Simply red? Yes, simply I red. Love yeah. love. Simply red. Well, simply red, she says. Uh, you might find you get a whole lot of different um, things happening with that one. I, I can so. see Martin's brain ticking, and I don't want to be. I not... can. You, you know what else is red blood? You know what? You're full of blood. I'm, I'm not full of, but it tends to come out fairly regularly. Martin's just filling out his list of how to fuck over the party. Red. Oh, of course. Can I sell another one? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, Simply Red, um, hopefully you um, go well and uh, try to figure out which if you'd rather be called Simply or Red. Because uh, other people will choose for you. Moment, but... Until otherwise, I'll call you Simply because I want to see you survive first. What time? Thank you. See, see how long it takes to work it out. So uh, try not to um, cut yourself with these daggers while you're in these lands because it might not heal. No problems, thank you. And I put them in my pack. Mm -hmm. And I go, how man? This is a bit alcoholic, this stuff. And, and basically, as Kiki tries to talk to you, you notice Kiki's tongue not moving whatsoever. Uh -huh. Yeah, huh? uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Jar Jar. And he sort of, does sort of roll so, out a little bit. And then I just listen. <laughs> like, oh, oh. And as I'm walking away, can I stop and say, may um, Simmeric bless you? And you too, she says. And then we go back to the party, and can we just say that we relay all of this to them, what happened? Or do you want me to try and... Well, I'm happy for you to say you just relay what happened. It's up to them if they were paying attention. Nope. I am. I'm drunk. And uh, you, you do hear the sounds of the ship um, pulling away from harbour at that stage. But you said they're all females. Dimitri's certainly interested, and particularly if you talk about the, uh, the effects of the ship degrading and or the daggers and stuff like that. So, Climate yeah. pays attention if you mention an all-female crew, but that's And about also it. about the Beggar King. Ooh. Well, See, Dimitri's, good things uh, happen to good people. Like Dimitri's says. interested in the fact that the location might be near where we got to go to. So, yeah. Oh, well, I slew that out, and then I, uh, and I, and I just uh, fall asleep on the bench. Plumman hands Kiki off to the two guards. Yep. They quite happily um, pick her up by the arms. Be gentle. And I mentioned that we need to go somewhere because private because right I have something to show them. Oh, they're getting the, murdered um, if they touch you. Okay. okay. So, is there a place that we can stay the night? Uh, the well, guys. What's the time, actually? Should Don't we keep going back staying the night? Uh, the, the guards keep looking yeah. at you strange and going, well, wouldn't we just set out? I was going to say, uh, the, yeah. It, what, what's this one, night? How long we've been travelling, or how, how long we've been apparently awake for? That, they say um, night only occurs once every um, six to twelve months, and it's always a horrific experience. Why would you want to stay till night? That's um, fair. All right. And I'll, I'll and just I'll let you guys will figure out what we're doing. And I always get... will take a look at the, the continent mm. and try and get indications to how long it might be before the the serpent rises again. Okay, give me an insight roll as you stare at the um, floating continents. I pretend to be poking uh, the guards. 18 plus... Guards, don't react. I go. Uh, 20. Okay, looking at it, you think you've managed to pick up how time works here. 
And that you're only about maybe an hour or two off the next rising of the serpent. So, um, yes, Demetri is suggesting that uh, it would be potentially best to be on the road again, unless, of course, we want to actually see the exact reaction of the the townsfolk to the rising of the serpent. So, mm. I, okay, I think we need to start heading out. Great idea. And then once we're out of the city, can I then pull out the obsidian dagger so we can inspect them better? You can, yes. Okay. Yeah, you're a nice guy, you too. <sighs> and, uh, and the guards are probably just laughing. Um, so. They just laugh. I know, that's cool. So yes, uh, you have um, three really sharp-looking obsidian daggers. Ooh, pretty. You that's test the blade? Oh, no, I just have pretty. <laughs> No, no, we don't test on anything, though. No, because I assume by the time I get outside, mention... I'm kind of sobering up a bit by then, so I was like, again, oh, that was a bit of a strong drink. I like that technically speaking, I didn't get off the boat because I didn't say I was. So technically speaking, I'm still on the boat. <laughs> Did you want to get off the boat or not? Up yeah, to you. I, I would have. I'm always just like, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> hey. yeah. Oh, that was a strong... The wines are a bit of a kicker here. Oh. oh, yeah, we use the wine to clean things. Oh. Perhaps you shouldn't have drunk it. Uh, I'm trying to for the drinking alcohol, not the cleaning alcohol. Oh, we don't have drinking alcohol. Uh, we, we live in a um, uh, really hot climate where alcohol goes straight to head. Only idiots drink, or outsiders drink alcohol here. Do you water it? No, you wouldn't water it down because it's a waste of water. It um, is, yes. Do you... We use it for cleaning. It keeps away the um, bugs because bugs just die in it. I can't feel my tongue. I'm just doing this the whole time. And I'm going, oh, okay, no more wine for me for a while. Someone should feed her water. It will. She needs water. She's not going to enjoy this tomorrow. Broth works well, the guard says. I need some broth. Uh, he hands you some broth. Uh, it's nice, nice chunky broth. I don't. Oh, I'm, I'm not with it to really understand what I'm having. So, tastes uh, basically just tastes like um sludgy water. Uh, Plumbing goes and cares for the um, slaves, prisoners with jobs. So, what are our slaves called? Lawrence and Philip. Aren't they the guards? No, that's the name of the um, slaves. Uh-huh. The guys haven't been named yet. Barry and... Once we get out of town, Plowman is going to begin instructing them in the use of... Horses? No. Like you do with everyone else. <laughs> clubs. They don't like clubs, they like spears. Or spades. We can work with spears. He's also pretty good with a spear, too. He... Well, that's lucky, because you've that got a spear... One. But it kept talking to you. <laughs> That's a uh, from yeah, the local, from the, uh, the town. Technically, it's uh, faster speed, but not really. Um, yeah, pole arms in general, quite good with. Um, they, don't have the, they don't have the pole arms spear, they just have the um, yeah. simple weapon spear. No, no, that's fine. Um, I guess a longer spear won't really stand out that much. It'll just look cool. Uh, I feel like I find a couple bits of lead putting together as a hat. Demetrio mentioned to Plamen that you may well find that whilst the spear that we bought in town doesn't look as impressive as your own. You may find it works a lot more effectively here. Yeah, cool, whatever. <laughs> um, what about, you know... <laughs> it, wait, so you bought spears in town for me? Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, bought you, uh, we, we bought you appropriate accoutrement as chieftain of the guard. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, Giving like a spear, shield, fuzzy loincloth. No more loincloths. And I'm looking at my dress. I've got all marks uh, on my dress. Hang on. I'll turn it knife or I get it maybe. Yeah, don't worry about the spear. My spontoon will probably be good enough. It's a giant spear. Yes, but it wasn't made here. Yeah, the disadvantage thing. Uh, you have disadvantage on all attack rolls uh, while in this nation. Ah, uh, fuck this place. <laughs> Alright! 
Oh, no, actually, you know what? Disadvantage is still probably not as good. Sorry, it's still probably worse than using the spawn Hey, Martin, those daggers. Yeah. Which they do. Either. What did you want to know about the daggers? They're probably standard daggers. Are like they just normal wise. dagger damage, or is it like special stuff? They are normal dagger damage. Um, in okay. that case, Plumman will. Uh, if he tries to. Um, trade in weapons that he already has, isn't anybody going to give a shit about them? No one really cares about those weapons. Uh, he's going to chase down three javelins, um, a spear, and what looks to be like a giant spear if he can find one. It's the only people from other nations would care about um, weapons that don't come from here. He's just going to turf all of his useless shit then. That turf it? <laughs> No, I'm going to turf it. I don't want it. Do you want it? Clean will. You, well, when you're saying useless stuff, which you talk, like, you're saying stuff you bought down from up the uh, upper world? Yeah, no, all my shitty little things, like throwing javelins and stuff. Ah, okay. Not like my prize spontoon and... Well, actually, that's the only thing that I have that'll, that I'll care <laughs> about down here. So your hammer doesn't go. What hammer? <laughs> oh, the one that's currently um, hanging off your side. Uh, hanging on my back, yes. I don't care about it, and if it's useless here, I don't care even more. <laughs> it tells you it's not useless; it's quite useful. Plowman's gonna hit it, hit a rock, hit a giant rock with the hammer. It cracks. Does it appear to be effective? Very effective against a rock. Plowman briefly eyes off a slave, and Owls thinks better of it. Owls. Okay. Let's still get it. Um, he's not a local, so I'm sure it will work quite well successfully against him too. All right, stays on the belt. So I'm just waiting for when we camp for the night, or the, the night as such. Um, can I, before we do that, can I? Is that the truth? Does it show the whole zone? I think. Well, it might show the magic. You don't know because you've never used it in this region. These things can have different effects. Okay, so you're going to cast Zone of Truth? Zone of Truth? Um, oh, did okay. I find a, this shithole equivalent of a spontoon? They do not do spontoons here. But they do do javelins. Well, that's good. Zone of Truth is... Not as good as your javelins, though. What javelins? The ones you got rid of. The ones that are in the ocean? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you spend um, an action casting Zone of Truth at that uh, when everyone stops for a rest? Yeah. And it doesn't seem to affect anything. Because mm. I was just going to have asked questions to the slave, and that's all I really got from. It is an enchantment. Yeah, that's very cool. Watch the last question. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. And I'll, I'll just try to try to recover for the night. Yeah. Uh, no more wine. No more wine till we get home. No cheese. And uh, I'm gonna have to eat meat. Damn it. Yeah. So I there's no plant food really around. So it's like okay. He said they don't waste that sort of stuff on the um, slaves. What plant food? Yeah, the hard to grow food. Oh. I'll ask the um. I'll ask the slaves where they're from. Just a matter of interest. Well, they they say they're from the islands. Islands. Um. Do I mention the bigger, the bigger place? Do I mention that place? Or? You mentioned that place. I've never gone that far. Oh. Seems like too far to travel. Okay. Plus, the people there are strange. Okay. Stranger than here. Stranger than here. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. There is no reason to have a spear as opposed to a javelin. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, uh,. We travel for an hour or so. Yep. And then 
Kiki tries to cast a spell that doesn't work. Okay, but the the serpent happens. Uh, the serpent happens um, right around the time you expected. Yep. Um, and we'll aim to uh, keep travelling for a bit longer yet. Okay, you, before, as you before actually stopping. As you travel a little further along, you find a young muscular soldier um, sitting by the side of the road, um, um, stretching. I as put my best. As we coming up to him. Yep. Yeah, I'll let him go first. The Demetri will inquire of the of uh, of Cain and Abel. Yep. The two soldiers. Um, Cain and Abel. If they uh, recognise why a lone warrior might be on the side of the road. Well, uh, Cain, the one who usually talks, Abel gen barely says anything. Um, <laughs> Cain says, oh, he's probably just a courier. By the look of him. A courier. Has he a messenger? Yeah, he, uh, he's the messaging service. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And if no one likes the message, she'll be the next sacrifice. These guys need to chill it on the sacrifice. Um, messenger from the priest? Ask him. If he doesn't like the question, he might sacrifice you. I woke up. I go. Okay, we'll continue walking in direction and uh, yeah, walk in direction, but I'll yeah. I'll wait. I'll make sure I'm with somebody with like Dimitri might come up with me. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, we we're, we're still walking up the road to to his me. location. So okay. So. Funny what to expect before we got there. As you get yeah. closer, um, he calls out, "Hello, travelers. Where are you headed?" We are headed towards uh, Kitlakan. Oh, I've just come from there. I'm heading towards uh, Kitlaketima. Which is where you've just come from. Oh. Yeah. What were you doing? Almost there. there. The road is clear. Mm. So. Uh, yeah, the uh, most of the guards are um, busy elsewhere looking for sacrifices. You'll you'll be easily able to get through. Good. So uh, the uh, and, and what what's be what's your purpose? The destination of Hukrat of whatever the town name was. <laughs> I'm looking to um, uh, meet up with um, priests about um, upcoming um, ceremonies called the Ceremony of the Flying Viper Spirit. As you might have seen, um, these um, coming rotations. Was that the... Uh, did we just see the results of that a short time ago? Yeah, I, quite impressive. I, it always looks strange to me, but very impressive. Magic, strange stuff. Mm. But again, I don't question the things of the god. Many sacrifices, uh, I assume? He just looks at you. It's as, as can. Sacrifice is the way they do things here. <laughs> Have you been privileged enough to witness such a ceremony? Uh, yeah, I saw one before I left. It was horrid. Oh. I don't like, I've never seen that much sacrifice done for anything here. Mm. They're really piling up the bodies. Uh, I feel like so taking the, body, the slaves to this the, town the, may be so, a bad idea. So it did, it, the, the bodies were piling up then? How many sacrifices were made? I, I can't really count that high. And is that the same number that will go every night we see the, uh, the, the what we said, the flying viper spirit? Quite possibly. Um, from what we uh, couriers have been hearing, um, whole villages of peasants are disappearing to the sacrifices. But they only hold it once a cycle. Yeah, well, once a um, cycle. We, But there's still quite a lot of people to die in that amount of time. They're constantly sacrificing up until the um, spirit's released. Hmm. The spirit released? Yeah, well, ah. ap apparently only um, uh, so many bodies can be killed by a priest at one time. 
So it, it, it's the accumulated um, death that releases the spirit from the temple. Really? And it is the spirit that we see flying up at the end of each cycle. I'm sure it's at Xantioth all showing everyone just how much he hates the sun. Okay. Uh, is it the why, same why, priest doing why, the same way? Why would Exanti Oswald hate the sun? Um, apparently he's at odds with the sun god. Okay. Because it is illegal to worship Otsiotl here, the sun god. But to make sure you get your guys right when you talk to the priest. Say the wrong god and you're on the table next. <laughs> wow. Or possibly if you kind of like God, you're probably at the table like a true believer, surely. <laughs> they, they like the disbelievers more than the true believers, but they'll take the true believer if they don't have any disbelievers. Uh, <laughs> we so, need to make our slaves not look like slaves. Do we... Is it always the, uh, the same priest that conducts the ceremony? Well, the high priest seems to be delighting in it at the moment. It's like he bathes in blood. They've been calling him the Red Priest. The Red Priest. So, and he, it's so, uh, but the. Uh, yeah. so. Okay. Uh, I know the questions myself, I'm quite. And so, yeah, so you're, you're missing going out to gather more, the, the, you know, that, that, the talk to the temple, talk to the priests at Uruk is that right? Uh, yeah, I've, I've got, I just got to remind the priests of their um, duty to gather more flock for the sacrifice. Are they gathering more than normal? I've never seen them gather this many before. Hmm. And... and no, normally seemingly the, the seemingly the ceremony of the flying spirit has not been happening for long. Is that correct? It's a new ceremony brought on by some um, uh, goblin advising the king. A goblin advising the king. Yeah. Doesn't sound right. Yeah, uh, with the goblin, but, 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 and give a description of the, the goblin to the goblin princes. Yep, and he describes a uh, um, monkey the um, Goblin Prince has as well. But there's only one Goblin Prince? Uh, one Goblin Priest? Yeah, there's only one. Advisor? Well, one Goblin Advisor. And he basically paid the king off to um, uh, start the ceremonies. Hmm. So, but the Goblin, the, the, you mentioned the Red Priest, that's not the Goblin Advisor, I'm assuming. Oh, no, that, that's the King. He's King and Priest. Okay. King and Head Priest, of course, yes. So, why, why would it be any other way? Mm, true. So, uh, um, so, there be um, where, be, be where the um, 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 temple, because... Uh, really weird stuff happens there. You mean besides the flying viper spirit so many? Well, it's supposed to be the center of Otsiotl's power as well. So why they're doing some sort of um, spirit, uh, some sort of ceremony to um, affect the sun, um, they're doing it on, uh, over Otsiotl's um, original temple. Yeah. Interesting. Um, um, Martin? Yeah? I'm just having a bit of a kid emergency here. I know we're not quite finished, but is it all right if I bugger off now? All good. Um, Nasty will be busy catching up stuff as Simply Red. Yeah, sorry, guys. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Catch all you good. later. Have a good week. Catch you later. Right, bye. bye. Um... Okay, well, I think we um, let this poor gentleman on his way, um, Dimitri. Indeed, okay. Having offered him, obviously, a 
some water or bits and pieces. To he, he's happy with some water. He doesn't need anything else. He, he, he's a true um, uh, soldier of the nation. And he, he will um, face his um, uh, end with honour, he says. Of course. Though he, he hopes that it's a, a long time from now, but the way things are going, it may be sooner than he expects. But if his God calls him, his God calls him. Okay. Well, we all must follow God. Yes. It's normally only one or two people a year, so it seems very much out of character for the king to suddenly want so many offerings. So be wary, he says. You seem like nice people. Don't know why you're here, he says, as he heads off. So we've gone from one or two sacrifices a year to uncountable night, uh, uncountable bodies every night. Yep. Mm. Well, not every night. Uncountable bodies um, continuously. Well, but... So... Yeah, okay, like, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, because they keep killing them until the, uh, the the spirit departs. Yep. And then they probably keep starting again immediately until they can kill off enough to get the next spirit. Yep, they seem to be um, feeding the spirit until the spirit's sated and rises to the sun. Hmm. Okay. Um... So, have you been uh, keeping a bit of a watch on um, Cain and Abel and on uh, what was it, Laurel and Philip and Lawrence? Lawrence and Philip, yep. Um, You think Philip Please. and Lawrence will probably need about a month's worth of care before they'd be able to um, be useful? Mm-hmm. Um, the, but are they seemingly happy to be with us at the present time? Uh, are we getting any indications about the idea? Because certainly when Dimitri first offered them a job, he was more interested in, hey, what information you can get out of them and things like that, and then put them on their way to... The, uh, well, he's got no particular Phil- interest in having them hang around necessarily, unless they're going to continue to be useful and helpful. So uh, Philip and Lawrence seem to be um, dragging their heels a bit because, while well, they are sick and they are tired and they don't have a lot of energy, so they do require a lot of attention to keep moving. Lyman's spending mm-hmm. most of his time recuperating these two. Uh, whereas Cain and Abel seem to be quite happy with the fact that you've paid them to do what you need. Yep. Uh, also, okay. if we take these two slaves to the city, they're going to get sacrificed. Cain and Abel say probably. Hmm. But if we leave them go by themselves, they might be captured either. And then sacrificed. Hmm. What if we try and make them pass as not slaves? And what if we actually count them as not slaves? He shrugs. Could work, right. but... Potentially, well, I guess... Are there any other more, are there any more towns or villages between here and... Chitalan or whatever. No, nope. as far as we know, everything between here and the capital has been completely stripped bare of people. Hmm. Okay. Well, for the time being, it may be worth having at least a couple obvious slaves. Just in case. As we walk along. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. the, uh, so yeah. maybe when we get to Chitalan, we can look to. Dress them move differently, and possibly I'm feeling a bit, looking a bit healthier. So. Okay, so as you um, uh, spend a, a day or so walking towards the capital, okay. you um, um, you come across um, uh, four mindless uh, ceremony victims um, bearing a black wooden uh, paquin painted with uh, viper figures in Azkan style. Uh, inside, you can see an obese nobleman wrapped in coloured cloth and feathered adornments, very similar to what some of your advisors are wearing. Uh, sip uh, frothing cups of um, uh, some sort of cold um, drink with peppers, and uh, with four um, warriors following um, behind with their um, spears at the ready. And is he heading towards Trakton or away from Trakton? He seems to be heading away from it. So, um, 
the again, as, as we see, approaching then. Yep, he's approaching. Um, any information from Cain Naval as to exactly what we're expecting up ahead of us? Well, they're looking at him and go, well, oh, just some rich fault. Mm -hmm. Probably um, pays like you do. So, um, the in your description, you said mindless ceremony victims or something, didn't you? Yep, that's basically what happens to um, most people who get sacrificed. Ah. But these victims appear to be whole and healthy. Um, in body. Well, they they do sacrifice people through uh, throughout the year at various points for um, uh, omens and stuff. But it's yep. normally only a handful a year. Yeah. And then they then they serve on as um, uh, slaves, and they can live for as long as a normal person would. Mm hmm. But much much better because they don't argue or complain. Yeah, and that's what you expected was going to happen to uh, Philip and Lawrence over there. Very much so. So, so, so not sure what's different, different about the ceremony they're having up ahead because um, they haven't been providing much um, in the way of um, mindless slaves. Um. Well. Yeah. Dimitri will aim to uh, put on his noble airs yep. and uh, hail the Blanquin and... Uh, okay, so the he, the noble on top um, gestures the slaves to put him down. And he opens the curtain and says, I am Tepakas, so Tessie Cattle Monticolo. And who are you who addresses me? Greetings. I am Dimitri Akamol Clumpty Tang Tang Tufu. Yeah, what? Sounds, Sounds impressive. <laughs> you seem to be a um, well educated man. Why are you traveling here? Are you trying to um, get some uh, fresh slaves? The ones you have with you seem to be a little worse for wear. Yeah, a little worse for wear. I think yeah, I plan to. Uh, Travel to Chickatall and uh, acquire new ones. Well, they have a bit more life left in them still. They are um, having a, a um, major sale on them at the moment, considering they've got far excess than they normally have. So, uh, saves are being made at, more, at a more rapid rate, or are we collecting them from greater areas? Uh, they've, well... Some of them are, you know, older ones that have turned up without masters, and then there are the uh, ones that they are using to um, power their ceremonies. So they they have uh, a lot of their magic only works with um, the taking of someone's soul, mm -hmm. and because they're constantly using that magic, they're making a fair number of these slaves before they actually sacrifice people um, in blood, which is. An unusual occurrence for um, the king to partake in. It, and he starts going into you by putting on the airs of a sage, uh, very much like Dimitri. <laughs> Sounds very similar in tone. And he goes into the um, fact that uh, over the history of the Azkan, uh, since the uh, spell of preservation came into effect, um, the blood um, sacrifices have only been done about five or six times during that time frame and normally when the intervention of an outside force has instigated it and, um, and, and basically a whole lot of really interesting historical facts relating to the um, Azkan and the um, spells that um, stop people from being able to um, affect their culture. Hmm. Can I just look at the warriors that we've got uh, on the other side? Mm -hmm. What kind of weapons do they have? Spears and daggers. What kind of daggers? Can I see any daggers? Stone. Stone, Stone daggers. Obsidian and um, jade, you are told, uh, um, only priesthood carries. Okay, so these are just not best quality, but the average quality kind of stuff. The ones that they have? Yeah. That would be best quality for anyone outside of the priesthood. Just out of curiosity, Martin, and confirming, yep. um, the the people we're seeing, and particularly the current ones right now, yep. we haven't seen any more um, 
anyone else wearing the necklaces that we've got, have they? Uh, not a, not a single like person the, wears the those necklaces. The ones that came from the, the, the shadow, the dark elves. Yeah, no one else wears those necklaces. Okay, so yeah, so they certainly, uh, they're hearing us speak as can because we're seemingly speaking as can, yep. and we're hearing them in our language, aren't we? That is correct. Which makes it hard to have secret conversations because you're always speaking the same language everyone else can understand. Well, no, no, no. I, was, I was thinking that... Oh, okay, because even if you're talking to somebody else, they can hear it in their own language, yep. yeah, right? Anyone okay. who hears you hears it in their native language. Okay. Um, the... Uh, okay, well, I've got the opportunity then. These are... Uh, Taken, he, he set the pancreas down, and I'm guessing the opportunity to uh, have a few, uh, a, a bit of a drink, a few sweet meats, or something similar. Mm -hmm. um, Dimitri fine. will uh, take off his necklace briefly mm -hmm. and talk to some of the others quietly, as if he's uh, uh, addressing them as the, the, the warriors. And like that. said, you know, the palanquin and uh, accoutrements may be a good disguise to get into the city with. Hmm. I've seen them myself. Do you think you could take them? Preferably without damaging too much. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I can't see why not. Okay. <laughs> Um, How about the, um, to me too, the, if so, the, but you'll basically put the necklace back on again and continue conversations with, uh, who with the, uh, <laughs> Tia Pencatso, <laughs> Tess, Zeta Tol, Monticolo. Mr. Monticolo. yes. <laughs> they're, they're, they're one of the, um, uh, historians and sages of the region. Oh. Uh, okay. He's probably, he says he's one of the most learned people who have not been put to the knife so far. Most learned do get put to the knife? Uh, anyone who questions the king gets put to the knife. Ah. Are you saying that those who are learned often might question the king? Some have, because why would a goblin be able to tell the king what to do? But I held my tongue and decided it would be time to leave the um, temple during the ceremonies. But I do have some robes if you'd like to go, you know... Uh, walk in and um, talk to the people there. Well, I, I can sell them to you at a right price. It is disconcerting to hear that the king may be talking to goblins and receiving advice from goblins. I'd be careful, you know, um, you know, discussing it with him because kings generally don't like to be told what to do. And I, can, I can understand. I, I have dealt with such uh, royalty before, and yes, yeah, so they, they they can be. How to accept appropriate advice? Well, in in that case, I, I just happen to have these pile of you know uh, robes that um, mean that you'll be able to uh, walk right into the city and deal with the goblin advisor without anyone questioning you. And I'll just happen to leave them um, in someone's capable hands who might be able to return them to me sometime in the foreseeable future. If not, I'll understand. I, I don't really want um, bloodstained robes back. Um, but if you would happen to remove said goblin um, problem uh, from the king's ear, then I'll consider that a worthy trade. Well, that certainly sounds like it could be something worthwhile. Well, Do you have a residence remaining at the at Chiratra Hall, or we could leave the road gate if we are otherwise unable to return them directly? Well, uh, I have one at um, the, uh, the the place you're heading to, Huti uh, Lekatima. If you would happen to drop by there on your um, uh, way after leaving the kingdom, because I'm sure the king will be upset with his advisor no longer advising. I don't suppose you may know of uh, where the goblin advisor and or the king may be most easily found or gained access to. On top of the pyramid, sacrificing bodies and wading in their blood and drinking it. Uh, of course. So... And uh, I'm guessing that the ceremonies are well witnessed by numerous uh, 
numerous guards amongst other people and priests and things of the like. They are, and uh, advisors wearing these sort of robes also stand around uh, to uh, assist and um, uh, hold the um, uh, initiate who is uh, who has decided to partake in the ceremony in place. Ah, wow! Well. I never really liked that job, so I I kept on, um, you know, saying, "Oh, I'll, I'll do the next one." It seems the most appropriate technique to uh, hand on, but uh, I'm guessing that eventually they, uh, <laughs> the next one was one that they were expecting would be, you would definitely hold at some stage, which is, again, part of the reason for heading yeah. back home again to Huaka <laughs> yeah. So I um, said that I would uh, um, uh, be, be back, um, you know, in the next rotation um, before I left. So if you happen to show up in these robes, they, will, they won't think anything of it. Very good. Okay. Um, just you, when you said rotation, then yeah, is that different from cycle? Uh, you, you think he is referring to the specific um, island that you've been doing the twenty-four hour clock with? Right. Okay. So, so yeah. So he wasn't necessarily saying we're back in the next day. But it's more a case of a month or a year or something type stuff. Is uh, that he, he was, he was sort of he's sort of referring to day, but he he left it very vague. Right. Okay. <laughs> very, very much so as you think a sage who doesn't really want to give all his secrets out. <laughs> I only got twelve. Uh, hang on. I got twelve on the inside. Mm -hmm. He seems like he's um, on the level to you, but he's a bit shifty. He reminds you of Dimitri. Okay. Almost as if he was the Dimitri of this um, region. <laughs> Two Dimitri. <laughs> You hear Bradshaw, you hear Bradshaw in my back of my mind going, no! Um, but, okay, well, I I um, I look at Dimitri, I give him a nod, thinking that this might be a way to go. And, that's and, and he um, hands out a bunch of robes um, uh, to one of his um, servants who just carries them over to you. I'll accept them on behalf of Dimitri. And then they, they go back and says, uh, good hunting and um, hope you don't become initiates. Safe travels to yourself and your cohort. I, I'll be on the way. I mean, he's, uh... And he... Uh, uh, I'll uh, look forward to discussions again in the future. He <laughs> says the same as he continues when, to... When hopefully the, uh, the king has uh, influenced the more wiser heads. So next, session we'll, green, at least. so next session we'll have you reaching the town of Chit Lacan. Capital. Yeah, the capital. <laughs> and we will pick it up there next session as you reach the capital dressed in whichever design you wish. And we feeble mind the goblin. No, no, I don't have this built on. Unfortunately, the feeble mind the goblin is a high level witch and we flex it back on you. Yeah, as I said, I don't have this spell, so it's okay. I'm just they a, might. I'm just a healer, okay? They they got an even better one that just rips you apart from the inside out. Yeah. Mm. You saw it, you witnessed it. Mind. They don't go feeble mind, they go no mind at all. Oh yes we did, didn't we? Yes, yeah. I just remembered I go, oh yes we did actually, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Okay, well thank you very much everyone. All good, so I hope, hope you have a good night Jeremy and I will catch you um, uh, probably next, next Tuesday, Tuesday and I sent you an email regarding um, uh, possible board games. Yes, yes, I saw that. Um, and um, I'll send you an email once Ma yeah. hmm. Martin and I will confirm about the loot and I'll send you an email after that, okay? So. Marvellous. Okay. 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 I'll catch you later, Jeremy. Have a good night. You Thanks too. Very much. Bye. Bye.